Welcome to Friday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Welcome to Darcy. Hello, uh, I am Darcy. He you are welcome here. <laughs> he made it here. But very wetly. Yes. <laughs> I love the English language. You can just change words into other... You made it here wetly. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest games on the Atari 2600. And today we proved that right yet again with uh, an exclusive world premiere of a game called Deep Space by Leandro Camara. Uh, it is a brand new game. There's the cartridge, as everybody just saw before I flipped. Um, <laughs> we're also going to be playing Cave Run from 2012 uh, by Atarius Maximus, and a brand new kids game called Bert uh, by Chris Reed, Atari 2600 Land, and I'll be trying to get a patch in Barnstorming. I got that close last time, the first time I tried for the patch, so I think I can do it. I'm pretty sure I can. It'll be challenging, but I think I can do it. I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers for supporting the show. Alniferg, Armscar Coder, Caffeman 2D, Captain Classic, Catalox, Charles and Chuck, Dianoid, Dan NVC, Drexel, Glenn Main, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Jupiter Storm, Carl G, Croco 2600, Mark Space, Inc, Metal Atari 1969, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Pack Rap, VG, Quahog 2600, RC70, Repentless, VG, Ricardo Pim, Socrates 0603, Spartan 581, Spice or Esmeralda 2008, The D Train 37, The Welshman 89, Thunk is Tiki, Dan K, Tim of Legend, Teet Foes, and Trek MD. As you can see, scrolling down the side. Audio's a bit loud. Yeah, I did change. Thank you. Change the audio settings. Check, 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 check. Test. Test, Darcy. Test! And again. My mic is not loud enough. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> that seems to be peaking. Um, it might be too loud somewhere. Daniel Medina 2600, thank you for following. Might be too loud somewhere. I did turn up some things, but it seems to be peeking out at a certain level. Anyway, to let us know if we're distorted. Still in red when you are talking normal. I do want it getting okay. into red. I don't want it over minus three. Okay. Um, so it should be good, but I'm a little concerned because it's around, it's like maximizing at minus one. Ah. Uh. Um, huh. that means it's hitting a limit elsewhere in it, oh, I see. which may get into distortion. Huh. So, uh, okay. Audio is a bit loud. It distorts when you speak loudly. I'm going to turn it mm. down then. But, but, but he said that. He said it distorts when you speak loudly. He said that before you changed anything, just so you know. I'm still getting a lot of leeway. So check, check, which is good because I had it way low little before and i didn't have much room check 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 now i'm not peeking excellent it's probably back to where it was before <laughs> <laughs> um you can support the show and uh, subscribe for free and get your name right out uh if you link your amazon prime to your twitch prime that's part of my day when my name gets read out that's right <laughs> on the twitch stream Drex all party time <laughs> um and you just uh link your amazon prime to your twitch prime and click subscribe and it does not well thank you very much about the t-shirt i love this one it's a, for a manual that doesn't exist but should really i mean a lot of people repair their 2600s not too many people repair like what's yours with the spaceship on it <laughs> oh yeah the serenity it's the firefly yeah. firefly uh not too many people manual. have a serenity yeah. <laughs> from firefly more people have the Atari Well, they will in the future. They don't... That's true. Yeah. yeah. And the, the shirt is from the future. Do you think in the future when uh, spaceships become like more of a, a commodity for the average person, that there would be people who would model their spaceships after famous uh, 20th century spaceships? I mean, it's more like, do you think there's any chance that they won't? <laughs> no. No, there's I'm no chance sure that they, they won't. will. <laughs> people will have a star trek one and all the other ones miss two zeros heart or 2600 maniacs ah so we have a lot of brazilians today ah. as you may have noticed they're talking about brazil weather and uh, i haven't seen much portuguese yet so they're speaking english for now but i bet there's going to be portuguese <laughs> um it's because the first game today is uh by a brazilian 
by Leandro Camara. Um, so he's got a lot of fans in Brazil. And there's a huge 2600 Brazilian community um, for some reason. And I think that reason is after the crash here in North America, they shipped a ton of them, all the ones they couldn't sell, down to uh, South American countries. Hmm. And they've done that repeatedly. Um, every time like a system kind of slows down in North America, they shift uh, the products down to huh. South America. So Sega Master System's huge there and Genesis is huge there after it kind of didn't do so well because uh, Nintendo hmm. dominated the market in uh, North America. So a lot of clones manufactured as well. There hmm. you go. Because uh, uh, Atari 2600s were made with all off-the-shelf components. Right, right. There was no proprietary chip or anything that they made themselves. Yeah. So you could essentially you make your own. Put yeah. it all together That's yourself. That's pretty cool. Which, which is cool. And you don't get in trouble for it because it's all put stuff you put together yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No copying. Um, and make sure you follow, uh, subscribe, and like on all the things, especially Twitch, so you know when we're broadcasting if you forget the timings. Um, and YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, because I announce, you know, shows coming up like this one, where we do premieres, which we've been doing a lot of lately. Um, so I learned a, a, a lesson the other day oh. about not turning off your Harmony cart while it's loading a game. Oh. So currently this is inoperable, oh. this Harmony cart. It does not work. Oh, thank you. 80 Beats is now following. Excellent. Um... See, it worked. You tell people that they should follow. Um, <laughs> so apparently you're not supposed to turn off a Harmony cart while it's loading. Um, it no longer boots. It doesn't do anything when you turn it on. Hmm. So I was testing out uh, games for today's show. And I was ju and I turned it off in the middle of loading. Did you uh, rage reset? <laughs> <laughs> while loading, yes. <laughs> rage powered off. <laughs> um, and now it's just a blank screen. Luckily, it appears you can just reflash it. It's not. It's not oh, dead. Okay. So there's a USB port at the top, there that you could uh, connect to your computer, and um, okay, yeah, you can get it working again. So you know, I, mean, I was trying to feel how dramatic. I was going to get it open so I could <laughs> look at the internals. Yeah, and then put it back together again. <laughs> well, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, on how the taking it apart went. <laughs> <laughs> See if it went well or not. Yeah. <laughs> um, luckily, I have a backup um, Harmony Encore cart. Um, that was sent to me by Batari. Um, so we can still function properly, which is very, very good. And the cats are going crazy because I gave them catnip. <laughs> oh my God. How did that, how did that work? Oh my God. What is happening? Screen is going crazy there. Oh, oh my God. We have disconnected. Uh, and it's showing zero. I blame on the cats. Oh, oh, it started back up again. Is it working now? All the information is over there. I've said this before. But that's why <laughs> you see this side of the face and not so much this side. Because over here, there's very little information for me. Uh, <laughs> nope. We're going to have to maybe shut down the program. Because it says it's streaming, but it's really not. It's a big old liar. So stopping the stream... Inactive, start the stream, live, zero, it's numbers are going up, numbers are going up, numbers are going up, and it's green. So you want that little box right there? There's a little box that indicates good, okay, and terrible. Mm. Um, when I looked over and everybody said that it was not streaming, it was red. And it was staying red, and the number beside it was zero. <laughs> and, somebody, and you don't want zeros. Did somebody turn the stream off while it was loading? <laughs> cats. Cats. Yep. <laughs> cats did that. Yep. We're good. Stream is back. See, the, the chat is good, because if you weren't in the chat, you'd be like, oh, they turned off. It's, it's the show's over after five minutes. <laughs> but as long as they're watching the chat, which is good. It looks good. Sounds good. Excellent. We've had issues with the ISP. It's been pretty good lately. I think that might have been something else. Yeah, because I looked over before you guys said that. And I was like, oh, it's still awesome. 100% packet going through. Opposite of packet loss. <laughs> packet good? Packet. I don't know. <laughs> packet gain. No, packet. that's not good. <laughs> oh, that's too many packets. Anyway. 
Um, the end of the story, if you missed it, uh, Harmony Card is actually good. I can reflash it. Uh, you guys might not have heard that. Um, so I'll be getting this back up and running. as my original one. But right now, we're on the backup Harmony Card. And that is exactly why I asked Batari, oh, can I buy the cart from you? Because I'm like, things can happen. I need backups. Yeah. I need a backup Atari. I need a backup Harmony Encore. You may have heard that. <laughs> <laughs> the cats have... I gave them catnip and they're going crazy upstairs. <laughs> That's what happens. Uh, did you... Miss Man wants to know if your ISP looked at it yet. They, uh, they did a long time ago when we had a really bad day. But not in the recent... Not not a recent Not in the last one. few weeks. Because it's been or two. pretty good. Ah. Like, good enough that I can't prove that it's bad. That's the problem. I can say, oh, it's bad. He used some... to work at an ISP, so yeah. he, he knows. I know the lies that people tell. He's, he's, <laughs> he knows the shutdowns he's going to get before he gets them. Yeah. See, I know the lies that people tell to say my, my internet's bad. So I know they're used to lies. So if I tell them it's bad and I can't prove it... Yeah, they're not going to believe. Me. But that's their problem. <laughs> it is. Stream is down. No, it's not down. Is it? No, is it's it? still broadcasting. What? Restart. Restart. See, that makes me nervous. Nobody else is saying it. Still says live. Still says green. <laughs> no, it's not. It's good. You guys can fight it out. Um, so the game we showed on the show a little while back, I think it was an exclusive premiere as well, called Dog Gone It. The boxed release is coming soon for that. Uh, it will be sold independently. Um, so let's take a look at the graphics for that. Boom. Oh, that's a big one. Might have to, uh, reduce the size. So this is by Armscar Coder, and it is a package delivery uh, game, and it was pretty fun. It had a nice variety of screens and different variety of dogs chasing you and power-ups and stuff. If you have not played it, I highly suggest downloading it. You can download it off of Atari Age and the thread. That is the box art, I would guess, or the label art. I'm not sure. It says, I've attached the images of the cartridge labels. Mm -hmm. Okay. My graphic designer is moving on to... Oh, let's start from the top. First off, thanks to everyone for the positive comments on Dog On It. The feedback has been much appreciated. Being my first game and new to Atari Age, I've been overwhelmed by the community's reaction. I'll be ordering cartridges soon from Atari Age. I have not modified the game since its initial post, but I think I'll bump up the volume a little for the cartridges. I've attached the images of cartridge labels. My graphic designer is moving on to the box and manual designs, so maybe a little while before the project is complete. For those of you who have requested a free game, why would you request a free game from them? I will contact you <laughs> via personal message once the entire game package is ready. Pay them! Pay them! Don't ask for free games. I don't ask for free games. Am I missing out? Are people giving away free games? <laughs> this brings up a lot of questions. <laughs> I don't get free games. I've gotten a couple free games, but I pay Atari Age for all the games that I get mm -hmm. so far. Um, uh, so uh, what he is doing, that people um, sell their games through Atari Age, and Atari, game, Atari Age kind of hosts it, almost like drop shipping right, <laughs> through right. Atari Age. Like they're the, they're the distributor of the games. Right. What he is doing is he's getting cartridges made by Atari Age, ah. and Atari Age is shipping it to him, and then he's going to be selling it personally. Huh. And that is an option that anybody can do if they made their own game. Uh, I think it's $25 each US hmm. to get your uh, game burned onto a cartridge, and I think that includes the label too, hmm. which is a pretty damn good deal. Like to your door, you get a 20 uh, cartridge with your game on it for $25, and then I guess you put up whatever cost increase you want because you have to pay for shipping back and forth from Atari age and then you shipping it out to the person. Um, but, uh, very, very cool. Uh, it's a very cool game. Definitely recommend, uh, trying it out. Oh, that's correct. You supply the label art. Yeah. So you send the label art, which he's got done uh, to Al. Um, and he's getting that done first because in the meantime, he can get the box art done. Um, and I've discovered, that my system has a TIA glitch. 
and the TIA chip is the thing that uh, handles the audio and video on the Atari 2600. Oh. And we discovered that uh, when we were playing uh, Frantic on the last episode. Um, there were some stray playfield pixels here and there on the screen. Huh. Um, so I ran my system through the PESCO test, <laughs> which is a game that really shows when you have one of these chips that is like it's not a it's not a chip that's gone bad it's a run of chips that uh, they made okay. that don't work the same as the original chips um and it's a really easy way to evaluate whether you have one of these chips or not and then do you do something about it or no you just know and you're like oh look i have a special <laughs> chip i'm special you could you could leave it and it only affects pesco <laughs> pretty much i don't know of any of other games that it affects um, which is like a Pac-Man type fishy, fishy Pac-Man clone. Um, so you can leave it, which is not the biggest of deals. Or you can find a 2600 that has a working one that doesn't have this flaw and just swap it out. And it depends if it's a socketed chip or an unsocketed chip. You want to find a socketed one. So you can just go pop and pop. Oh, no. <laughs> What is going on today? Do I sound like I'm gargling nails? Um, a coconut eating one is now hosting my stream with one viewers. Awesome. Right. One extra viewer. Woo! Woo! Audio <laughs> sounds fine to me. Jam text, restart. Restart your stream. It might have been when the stream dropped out earlier. Oh, okay. Yeah. Shut it down. Reload it. Um, so I'm going to show you what this looks like um, because okay. it's fairly interesting. Um, so I'm going to load up PESCO. And we actually discovered something else while this happened, is that everybody assumed that these stray pixels were always on the screen when you load it up. But on my system, they slowly warp in, which is really interesting to watch. Um, so let's switch over, and you guys can see it right from the beginning. Uh, Coconut81 just subscribed. Thank you very much. He's hosting us and subscribing. Um, so let's... I'm going to have the deep space uh, cartridge up there for now. Even though it's not deep space yet. Don't forget to check your plug. Yep. Otherwise, nothing's happening. Okay. So, you should be able to see. There we go. <laughs> you didn't see the comments. Oh, you've got your towel? Make sure you have your towel. Don't panic. So I can do this. You're a towel. And oh. now we'll be safe. That's right. But it's... only from that really dumb monster. Because <laughs> it's pretty, pretty dumb monster. <laughs> um, hmm, 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 hmm. I think I have taken it off the cartridge, but I... Uh, I think in the homebrew... Did I fix it or not? Because it was a zip file. You can't load zip files on here. But let's see. If I took it out, Pesco, Pesco, Pesco. Pesco. Oh, I did. Okay. So here we go. What you do is you load it up. Now watch the left-hand column, left-hand side, about, I don't know, five dots in as we play this game. Uh, and they will slowly warp in. And it's to do with the timing of when you put uh, playfield pixels on the screen. When you tell the Atari, put a playfield pixel in this spot. And if you do it on a certain timing, which is like the recommended timing, it will give this weird error. And if you push it one extra timing further then it'll be fine uh-oh the crabs do have a certain behavior like the red red one's the only one that's going to come down here and that yellow one is confined to the top there mm. of course it's going to prove me wrong completely because it's not going to do it <laughs> while we're doing this live it only takes a couple minutes so far <laughs> and they come in like uh the transporter on Star Trek. They start flashing in. 
I'm just gonna be playing Pesco for twenty. Oh, oh, I saw it. Okay, in the in that um, first box. Oh, yeah, I see. Um, it's not coming in yet. I It'll saw be a flickering pixel in the middle. Yep, the there box. it is. Yeah. There it is. There it is. There it is, coming in in that first re uh, square box on the top left. There it is. Can you see it a little bit? Yeah, yeah, that's why I said yeah. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> and then they will all slowly come in down the line along that uh, along that uh, path down and, there. And what does it do, ultimately? Do it doesn't affect the gameplay. It just shows up there. Oh You're God. right. You should definitely find another Atari and like steal its chips so that you don't have that on during this one game and <laughs> this one game where it doesn't affect any of the gameplay. But it happened in Frantic ah. as well. Um, so there's like, oh, what is that? And it was warping in and out and showing up. Um, oh, now it's solid. Yeah. You can see. Now other ones will start showing up as well. Um, but Daryl Spice Jr. was able to fix his game. Mm -hmm. so that the on the timing of his game so it doesn't show up hmm. oh another one just kind of showed up right where right i'll show you if i can right around here oh, oh there yeah, it is there, there it yeah, is yeah. oh it's because i'm walking through it and it has to do different timing ah. um and because this game uses the play field in the way it does and like a lot of it to draw um i think that's why it doesn't have enough time to not do that um looks way better than the original pac-man it's pretty good it's pretty good uh pac-man clone this is taking a lot longer than the test i posted on the atari age forums but anyway you can see what happens in the test i did they all showed up all the way down all the way down the line uh within a couple minutes so this is oh oh i saw another one. <laughs> oh, there it is I wonder why that's coming in. I think it's one of the enemies is uh, was gallivanting around that area. Anyway, oh, ah! saw another one right below the top one. Come on, let's go. Oh, another one's coming in. Oh, they're flashing more and more. Anyway, that's enough of that. <laughs> I've proved it. Um, you can use a fire button for faster, faster paging. What? Faster paging. Oh, look at it go. Oh, look at him. Are you look holding the button now? now? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it was working. Yeah, I can see them flashing oh, wow. along there. Thank you for that info, Thomas. It's oh. like aliens. There's like aliens and they're showing up on your screen. They're everywhere. Look at the ball. Yeah. So it, it draws them all the way down that line. They'll eventually come in. Um, so I'd proved that some systems, at least mine, it is more part of the warming up process. The the timing changes. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought that was that was really interesting. But um, so if you do have one of these systems, uh, Frantic has now been fixed because um, I tested it after he um, after Daryl Spice Jr. posted the update. So I will be looking because for another TIA chip, I've got a bunch of other systems. So all I have to do is play Pesco on them and go. Hmm, does it work? Does it not work? Yeah, it works. Okay. Take it out, put it in this one, and totally destroy my And system. then this will never happen again to you. You'll never <laughs> um, have to suffer pesco. the sight of be seeing the pesco lines. <laughs> Honestly, I don't understand why you would why you would Should ruin another it? perfectly I, good Atari. I, like you have to ruin another perfectly good Atari to do this. Unless you take no, this one would, and put it in the other it. one. I would swap it. Sure. But I'm actually very scared of doing that so i may not do it because this is the only game it does it on i don't think you should do it <laughs> i don't think so either <laughs> last time i opened up my 2600 i killed it and then nathan strum had to rescue me uh, your last system had an issue too well this is this is the system but that's that problem got fixed uh, um that was oh, i can't remember that that system was al's system so that's oh, a yeah. different system jam text is the one who made pit cat and they crashed with pit cat Anyway, okay. So what we're going to do now is actually play Deep Space. Here All you right. go. I actually like the Atari box voice when it comes up. Atari box plus ready. Excellent. Okay, so I'll go to, to oh, yesterday's date, which is wrong. 
but that's where everything is. So Deep Space, this is the exclusive world premiere by uh, Leandro Camara. And it says Dark Star 3, Deep Space. And I'm wondering if it has anything to do with this John Carpenter film called Dark Star. <laughs> we shall see. Oh, you can't see it very well because we're really tiny. There you go, Dark Star. Pesco approved. <laughs> Pesco approved. Okay. Um, so this build is, uh, yeah, let's go to the title screen. So this build is from August 18th, 2020. It's a 16K F6 game. Other games he's made, A New Marauder, Deep Space, uh, Midnight Commando, which is an upcoming game, Polar Rescue, another upcoming game, Rally Racer, which we played recently, and Satellite Fortress. This is not available yet. It is just a work in progress um, because it's a world premiere. Of course, it's not available yet. Um, so, he has sent me extensive information about this game. Uh, Leandro Camara is the programmer and one of the owners of More Work Games. Deep Space is the third game in a space saga, 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 called Dark Star that I'm developing. It's the third one, but he hasn't released the other two. Ah, <laughs> They're out I of like order. That. I like yeah. that. Uh, this will be a series of space games. I'm testing some new things I've learned this year with the help from my friend and mentor, Hiator uh, Masil. Sorry uh, about pronouncing your name wrong. One of the things I chose to focus on in these games was music instead of some sound effects because the Atari only has two audio channels. I'm not using Super Chip or Deep C Plus, just 16 kilobytes in four memory banks as used in some games in the past. I remember having a great experience when I met or uh, when I played Gyrus from Parker Brothers for the 2600. That is a very good music on the 2600, one of the best of the original games. It's very likely this has influenced me unconsciously to make that decision. Another influence was Phoenix, a game I liked a lot uh, in childhood and wanted to bring a classic element of the game, uh, the mothership. It's not very common to find Atari games with a boss uh, at that time. Then I thought it would be good uh, for the game's theme. There's also something uh, influenced by Kaboom in the meteor scene, but I'll let you check uh, whether that I'm right or not. Uh, the game also features to use a joystick in the console's right connector. Uh, this creates a sensation of the arcade control for the left-handed by turning the control 90 degrees, positioning the red button on the top right corner. Uh, there's also a mode for piloting the ships using paddle buttons. It's explained how to do this at the end of the manual. Uh, uh, Okay, so let's read about the game and get started. Dark Star 3 Deep Space. On board of the Nix 2-6 spaceship, you have been informed that four motherships are transporting stellar matters from the mines of a near planet. Your mission is to intercept the motherships and recover the content. But before, you need to browse the four, or uh, four orbits where each mothership is and face the challenges of deep space. Uh, spaceship computer radar. I'm guessing that's what we're seeing right now. Looks like it. Uh, looks like a radar. With, looks very cool. With four planets. Very yep. cool planets. The red, a green. Four orbits. Uh, one with a ring and a kind of orangey, orangey one. Computer functions. Atari console panel, panel indicated in the lower left corner, C, uh, and the number, score. Okay, so this is uh, the computer. Uh, C, computer zero, computer off. Even with the computer off, you can view the four orbits of the spaceship's radar. Press the reset switch to, to turn the computer on, and your spaceship will be positioned at the start of the first orbit. Shall we do that now? It's yes. It's the end of the game, I think. Oh, oh no. Okay, you're still good. So, uh, it says F now. Don't do anything yet. And you've got a one. Well, uh, it's the first orbit. Okay. Oh, I see one at the bottom. Turn this up. Yeah. Oh, I see. We've got some music. Do, 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 do. Turn it up a little bit so people can hear that. Um, and you'll be positioned at the start of the first orbit. Uh, start full game. Okay. Uh, F, fire. I can see F is there. Uh, manual shoot. Color black and white switch in color position. A for automatic shoot, color black and white in the black and white position. Automatic shoot. Oh, it oh. flashes. Radar flashes informing exchange. Uh, we'll go for, what do you want, manual or automatic? 
Manual. Okay. So we're going. Manual. Uh, S for scanner. Three. Galaxy scanner. Press a reset switch plus the select switch, keeping both pressed together. So this is the galaxy scanner. Oh, okay. So that's the third planet. It's showing us there's something there. That is really, really cool. Uh, I've never seen a game that uses both of them at once. That's, that's very cool. Really cool. Uh, galaxy, galaxy, uh, galaxy view. Color black and white. Color black and white swish in the black and white position plus reset, keeping pressed. You will perceive the sound of the universe and anything and more if you are in the right orbit. Okay. Black and white switch. That's A sound. Kind of just gets rid of the radar. Not sure what that means. We'll find out. Uh, the select switch. Each of the th four orbits has three stages. With the select set switch, you can choose one of the three stages in the orbit you're in uh, to start the game. Oh, with with the select, you choose one of the three stages in the orbit you were in to start the game. So we're in the first orbit. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we can move to different orbits or not, or we have to progress through them. But let me... Don't press the button, no, because I think that starts it. So let's do a select. Okay, so we can do one, two, or three. Yeah. I want to see this again. That looks like it's in the third orbit of the third planet. Well, let's just start in the first one, because we have no idea what we're doing. Um, the color of the central line, vertical, in addition to moving and raising the spaceship in the radar, also indicates the color of the enemies of the stage in which you'll enter. So we have green, teal, and purple. So those will be the color of the enemies in that stage. Uh, pressing the select switch does not work during gameplay. Okay. Difficulty switches. Place the sh spaceship in the desired orbit to start the game. The status bar indicates the color of the orbit. Changing the difficulty switches does not work during the game. Okay. Oh, okay. Combinations of difficulty switches. BB, Orbit 1, AA, Orbit 2, AB, Orbit 3, BA, Orbit 4. So we can actually go to... Oh! Oh, wow. So we can actually go to that orbit where the thing is. Sorry, I'm in your way. With the difficulty switches, right? Mm -hmm. We can pick which one to go to. Okay, now that you have made the settings on the spaceship's computer, press the joystick and start the mission. So I'm, I'm guessing we should go to that one that it said to go to. There. So we are there. Wow. I have never seen the reset switches being used in a game like this. That's really cool. That's It's, it's like you have switches like yeah, in a 1950. Someone said, does it come with an over, overlay? Like this the needs show. to come with That'd an overlay. That'd be pretty cool, yeah. That is awesome. Yeah, it's real. I really like that. Because there was um, a game in the original run of um, 2600 games called Space Shuttle um, that had an overlay that went over your four switch or, uh, or yeah, yeah. six switch Atari. Yeah. And it had like all the instructions about uh, which switches do what on your shuttle. And, and it was very, very similar to this. Very cool. Okay, goal. Enemy attack. Goal. Destroy as many enemies as possible and survive. Joystick. The button. Spaceship shoot. Left. Left side movement. Right. Right side movement. The game has a resource feature for the joystick on the right controller in the arcade style for left hands by turning the controller 90 degrees. We're just using the controller in the first one, so we're not, we don't have to do that 90 degree turn yet. But we'll try that later. Uh, the scores, Prism, 75 points, Disc, 150 points, Alien, 150, UFO, 150, um, we'll get, don't think we need to know those things. Okay, we do need to know that. 
Um, okay, at the base of the screen at a time has a reference bar, shows the battle duration in side of the stage, which is one minute. So that bar down there. Uh, you have, for the mission, one spaceship with six energy batteries, indicated in the lower left corner of the screen with an E. The amount of batteries in the spaceship determines uh, fraying when the spaceship is hit. This directly interferes with the ship's firepower. Okay, the less batteries you have, the worse your shots are. Uh, and if you lose them all, it's the end of the game. So that's kind of lives, but it also, it's not straight lives, it affects your firepower. Every time the ship is hit, a battery is lost, causing short circuit in the ship's rockets, commands, and weapons. Uh, when the reset switch is activated during the game, this restarts the mission, resets the score, sending you back again to the spaceship's computer screen. The meteor's area, which we have not made it to, or the mothership yet. So I will read those out as we play. I guess I have to read it in a minute, because all we have is a minute to play. Um, avoid uh, In the meteors, avoid the meteors, recharge the spaceship's energy, batteries, and acquire extra points. Okay, that's all you have to do in the meteor area. Okay, let's do it. I think we're in the right spot. And shoot the things. Okay, I'm going to shoot the things. Okay. Oh, that's a big ship. And don't get shot. Crazy music. Uh oh. Oh, you got shot. So I, that that means... was the one thing I was not supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Supposed to do one thing and not supposed to do another thing. Oh, I got hit. This is so amazing, very deep. Perhaps it's not one point, but the difficulty setting before the start. Because I, it doesn't really say. I'm guessing that's it. That indicates the mothership was that. I get down to one. We're down to two. Down to two. Down to one. Oh, dude, I thought I didn't get hit that time, but I did. But I thought I didn't. Oh, I crashed. Oh, two. I could have been worse. I could have. <laughs> I could have played worse. <laughs> I couldn't have played much worse, but I could have played worse. Okay, you want to play again? Yes. Okay. So with this should take us back. It's still in the same spot. Okay. Ah! Because I I don't know if you have to shoot these things. You could just avoid them because it's just a minute. It doesn't say to shoot oh. X number of ships. Oh okay. boy. Because it is counting down. So your number one goal is to avoid being shot. A secondary goal is to shoot them. Because they, they do just keep reappearing. I don't know that trying to live helps me live. <laughs> trying to live <laughs> does like not help you. Oh my, that was quite the barrage. Oh, your timer counter is gone. Oh, 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 it's gone because you you it was destroyed actually. <laughs> okay, one more time. Okay. <laughs> it's still there, so let's go there. I would avoid them when they get low, in the close to you, because it's ah. too hard to avoid their shots when they're well, when they get so low. Yeah, you're assuming that I have any ability to avoid their <laughs> shots at all. At any point. <laughs> the 3D look to the player ship is nice. Yes! Oh, when I was testing it out, I was going to comment on that. It's got a shadow side and a light side, as if, like, there's a star on your left-hand side uh, illuminating your ship. And it's and it does use uh, two of the, both players' um, graphics, both sprites. Sprites, they are actually called sprites. So it was before sprites were named. But they do use uh, both of the sprites of the Atari 2600 at the bottom. Are you sure you haven't accidentally plugged in a ZX Spectrum BBC Micro? The graphics are nice and chunky for the 2600. Yeah, he's doubled. Oh, okay. You're in the meteors. Avoid them. And you can't shoot. Uh, meteor is area. In this scenario, you have a spaceship's weapon in energy saving mode, so you cannot shoot against the meteors. You hear a warning as you enter the asteroid belt. Indicating the inevitable meteor showers on your spaceship. Again, the time reference bar. Oh, you died. But you're going to play again because you made it there. Uh, stop it. No! <laughs> uh, an invulnerable robot probe 
was sent to the asteroid field to help you recharge the spaceship's batteries. Each eight recharge supplements launched by the probe, so you're supposed to catch those things that are being... Well, when you're in the meteor area, you're supposed to catch those little things that's dropping. Oh, I see. I was avoiding them. Recharge supplements. Yeah. I would ah! I would as well, not knowing, because they look like bullets. Uh, getting. Be careful with the meteors, because they cause damage. Same damage no! to the enemies. Don't worry, if you're hit by a meteor, the recharge count does not reset. Uh, no. 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 So, I think this is really hard because you're playing on the hardest one because it's in the third orbit. I don't think you're going to find it that hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this is the fast stage. Looks like the ship from Gyrus. Yes, it does. To start, set the difficulty position to BB. Well, are we supposed to go to the... Like, are we supposed to go to where the mothership is? Isn't, doesn't that indicate the mothership? I'm looking That's at this the again. galaxy view. Yeah. It's a galaxy view. Um, galaxy scanner. Was something found in the radar? So maybe we don't have to go to that one. It is the harder one. So let's just start on BB, orbit one. How about that? Okay. Doesn't seem much slower. <laughs> Maybe the bullets are slower. The bullets are way slower. Oh yeah, they're way slower. Okay, okay. So we'll work our way up. Ah! Thank you, Daniel Medina, for that hint. Um, okay. Where was I in the meteors? Um, robot probe colors according to the amount of recharge supplies. Uh, blue probe, many. Purple probe, normal. White probe, few. Score each star charge supplement 100 points. Speed and direction of meteors. Meteors come in different directions of speeds according to each stage and orbit. Orbit 1, 2, 3. Okay. So the meteors get harder as you go up the uh, different stages and orbits. Tip, passing between meteors can be very dangerous. Oh, the meteors are much slower. So you're supposed to catch those if you can. Yeah. There you go. And you're supposed to get eight of them, I believe. Six. Ah! Oh, no. Let's see. Six or five energy batteries. Blue. Batteries, power batteries in the spaceship determines fraying when the spaceship is hit. Hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I see. This is where you get more lives. So you have to get eight for each. So you gain some lives, which is good. Okay. Uh, this is not the mothership. See, it looks like you went back to the enemy attack area, and they're uh, much faster. Much, much faster. Yeah, and the, the flashing is like a shield. So when the diamond disappears, you can't oh. hit it. Oh, okay. I see. Ooh. Oh, no, I no, see. No, it goes no. kind of black. Yeah. It goes all blurry. Yeah. Bonus stage. Bonus stage? Ah! It's hard to tell what's, what stage this is. Meteor probe dropping supplements level. Yeah, it is a bonus stage. I mean, if you survive it. it is it a bonus ah. stage? Oh, <laughs> no. I, th oh. I, I really thought it was going off screen, and then it, it managed to fire another bomb at me. Anyways, your turn. Okay. So, we didn't make it to the mothership. It says, use continue, keep the fire button pressed during game over. Oh, okay. We didn't make it to that in the instructions yet. Game over. 
Continue. Deep Space has a continue if you die from lack of ships, ship's batteries. Keep the joystick button pressed during game over and you keep playing the stage you are in. Well, we didn't make it very far, so that's okay. <clears throat> um, okay. I didn't make it to the mothership because we haven't. I, I'm guessing that thing is the mothership. Okay, I'm just going to start in this level as well. Number four, Mothership. Goal, destroy the Mothership before the attack time is over. One minute. You have one minute indicated by the status bar to hit the Mothership 50 times at its weak, if, at its weak points. Radars, cannons, and or engine. Okay. Yes, if the time runs out and you do not destroy the Mothership, the game ends completely. Okay. Oh, wow. It's deadly at the Mothership. You just die. Yeah, Motherships are not to be trifled with. <laughs> you must, so you, you can must, either die or die by not. You must blow not. them up somehow. Yeah. Or corrupt them with a virus. Or whatever it takes. Because <laughs> usually when you're facing off with the mothership, it's because the earth is under attack or something's under attack, and you failing to destroy it means your whole planet gets destroyed. And you get different points for different things. Ship's engines, 500. Aerial mines, 100. Torpedoes, 100. Radars, 50. And cannons, 10. Okay. Oh my god. Do dove for me. Bastard. What's that? Dove down at Yeah, it me. does that. Yeah, it does that. I was not expecting it. Okay. Speed of the mothership shots of each orbit. Mothership orbit one, normal shot and torpedoes. Orbit two, normal shot and aerial mines. Orbit three, fast shooting and torpedoes. Orbit four, fast shooting and aerial mines. There we go. I think I need just like one. Oh, there we go. Now I'm full. I don't know if you can get more than six lives though. I don't think so. Also, when you get those... Oh, maybe it's... Maybe it's not. I thought it was the time was dropping down as well. Oh. Don't you think get points, so. though. You do get points, yeah. Oh, that's see? Fine. Let's see. Two, four, two, five. Yep. No. Yep, 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 no. yep, yep. Oh, there. 100. 100 exactly 100. Okay. That's this is the type of game where, like, there's a goal, like, to destroy the mothership. Yeah, so yeah. I'm not, like, a points person normally when there's that type of game. Yep. It's like, no, the goal is to destroy the mothership. Okay, so now I'm in orbit two? Oh my god. Oh, apparently. I'm not sure how the game progresses. Like... Tips. Make make a strategy to destroy the mothership and still gain as many points as possible by hitting the most valuable weaknesses of the ship. Obtaining the maximum duration of... and obtaining the maximum duration of the attack. Every time you hit one of the fragile points of the mothership, she flashes in white, indicating you hit the target. Torpedoes and aerial mines are not fragile points of the mothership. Motherships are at the end of each orbit, and their color indicates the uh, color of the next orbit. End of each orbit. Okay. In total, four motherships in the game. Okay. Oh, so... Oh, that thing that's flashing is just like a bonus thing then, I guess? It's I not know. a mothership. There is a mothership at every... Yeah. Catch stars. Mothership destroyed. Goal, capture as many stars as possible that were being transported by the mothership without mm -hmm. allowing them to escape into space. Okay. If you leave 10 stars into space, you go to the next orbit automatically following the game. So I didn't die at all there, which was good. 300 points for each star. P.S. At the end of the game, <sighs> in the mothership of the last orbit, you will have a limited time by the status bar to capture the largest number of stars before winning the game. Game over. Deep Space can finish in three ways. Losing all the spaceship's energy batteries. Right. Ending time during attack on the mothership. Right. Winning the game. How do you win the game? By destroying all the motherships. Weren't you paying attention? All four, I mm -hmm. guess. Yep. <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> I'm playing! Uh, seven, continue. Deep Space says continue if you die from lack of ship's energy batteries. P.S. There Damn is it. no continue in the mothership stage. Keep the joystick button pressed during game over and you will continue playing the same stage you were in. Awesome. Tip spaceship's computer screen at the beginning of the game can also use as a type of continue if you want to continue in the stage you were in or even starting the game in advanced stages. Okay, so I should have one more attack stage. So uh, it seems like you are supposed to start at the first one and progress. What the hell? But you progress don't progress that have way. To. That that beginning stage, that's the way to skip. Like, why why wouldn't you want to start at the third stage? 
Because if you start at the third stage... It's, you're just missing out points at that... At that. Oh my god. Yeah, third stage is points. deadly. <laughs> but I can continue. Hold... Oh, I see. No, I didn't. Did it? No. I didn't keep my score. And I'm back at... Well, it says if you have a different... Okay, um... Keep the joystick button pressed during I game did. over. I did, yeah. It says during game over. It doesn't say anything about pressing restart. Oh. Where did the restart come into your brain? Like, I even I, I with my limited mushy <laughs> material. <laughs> I'm going to skip straight to, uh... <laughs> level three. <laughs> mushy material. <laughs> because is, I, I want to see the mothership. Yeah, this yeah. is a tough... This one is it's hard as hell. Mm -hmm. What is that thing in the top? Oh, it's just hanging out there for a second. Ah! Oh my god. It's hard. I don't feel so bad about dying all those times. when. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Nice. What does it say? Where? In the chat. We're ignoring uh, the chat. Bonus stage, meter probe, dropping supplements level. Uh... Why am I shadowing their movements? Congratulations, another interesting game from Leonardo. Um, or Leandro, sorry. Leandro. <laughs> Apparently I only see what I think I see. Uh, <laughs> uh, spaceship split into two parts. And just another congratulations. Okay. Yeah, really innovative uh, game design. Yeah. I need some life. Yeah, badly. you do. Badly. That's two, three, and I lost one. You need life. Trying to get it. You need life in in, in the way that. Oh my god. Need food. Badly. Yes. Ah! They're so fast on stage three. Just do it better. So hold the button. Hold the button. Lies. Oh my god. Oh lies. <laughs> oh lies. <laughs> you just have to hold it long enough. But your score does go to zero, but at least you can continue. That's good. Smitty B says you can see this put, or I can see this putting me in a cycle of rage quitting and then coming back to it five minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> it's challenging, but it's not like I haven't legitimately uh, made it to the mothership, though. <laughs> I wouldn't call this legitimately because I'm continuing. Because I don't need any power ups because I'm full because I continued. Now I do. Now I need them. Okay, four more, three more, two more. For what? One more. You got oh, your life. I got it back. Oh, good. Now I just need to avoid for a couple more seconds. Oh, oh, I'm going up the screen. <laughs> Were you trying time. to stop? I, I was like, oh, you can't. There's no left and right. Oh my god, what? I have to hit it 50 times? Yeah. Whoa, and you only have whoa. A minute. There's and don't get missiled. No, or or shotted. Oh, oh, that's that's as far as left as I can go. Yeah. Okay, so there are extents. Yeah, that's as far as you can go. So you have a I limited know. amount of places you can go. Oh, you can shoot the bombs. Okay, yeah, that helps shoot the bombs a lot. And they're worth points. Having. Oh my God. Oh, get the stars. Get oh, them. Oh, get them. Oh, don't oh, avoid them. Oh. I know. Your instinct is to avoid the flamey bits coming out of the ship, but don't. Ah, they're dodgy. They're so dodgy. I know. Ah, they're Try to... not to get them, and then you'll accidentally run into every oh, one of true. them. that's true. How many did I get? <laughs> Yay! Okay, that's the first mothership destroyed. Yeah. Oh, okay, so you automatically progress. Yes. Through. That's what I was saying, is that first screen, with all the choices to make it to different yeah. places, that's the way to skip ahead, but right. that you're supposed to start at the beginning. Right. And then okay. make your way through. Very, very cool. I love games that have like levels and different variations of screens that you can play through. Because some, some of the early games, they didn't have much RAM to work with. So all they could have is one screen. And it just got harder and harder. But this one has like three distinct levels. Yeah, yeah. That you can play through. Which, it's very cool. And time limits on them. So it's like, yep, okay, you play this one. Then it progresses to the next one, progresses to the next one. It gives a lot of variety. The one thing it has that 
it's one of those things you're punished. The worse you do, the more you're punished. <laughs> yes. Because the bullets yes. do, as you take damage, the bullets do less damage. And I don't, I don't know that I approve of that. <laughs> it gets harder the worse you play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, always... you suck? Oh, punishment. <laughs> punishment for you. <laughs> Easy comes for those who are better. <laughs> but you can revive yourself, which is good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just saying that I don't like that mechanic. No, it, that it, one. It has not been always. a factor. It has not been a factor for me. <laughs> I'm just saying that. Yeah. That that mechanic always is like oh, punishment for the weak. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> it. Makes you feel very, very deep. Oh, you're losing, lose more. <laughs> and we're gonna winning, make it, win more. That's right. You're really good at it. Then we'll make it keep it easier for you. <laughs> You're really bad at it. We're gonna make it harder for you. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, shouldn't you make it easier? I mean, for yes, people are that is what life it? is like. But this isn't it life. Is. This is a game. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. So funny. Oh, what? Got him. Got him. Got him. I'm so used to the other screen for, uh, that I couldn't kill the anything. Oh, the the. And I killed something torpedoes? here, and I was surprised. <laughs> uh, the uh, the meteors. Meteors. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, I killed something. They're good-looking meteors, too. I think I'd rather have auto fire. I don't think I've taken my finger off the button the whole time. I mean, it is satisfying holding down the button. It's like, yeah, I'm shooting, but... Sure, yeah. I haven't had a reason to have precision shots, really, because it's pretty fast... fast shots. Even though it is just one at a time. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to hit more by letting off the button. If they were slower shots, if my shots were slower, then yes, I would opt for manual fire. Oh, meteor again. This is the second comes. meteor wave. Still at full. Getting those points. Oh, God. Oh, I made oh, it through made first it. time. It does warn you against doing that, and yeah, I have hard. died twice doing that before. Yeah, I died when I tried it that time, too. Yeah. Because they're on an angle, and I, I made it into the spot, but I did not slide along with the meteors. Oh, God. Woof. I kind of have to anticipate where the opening is going to be. The timer seems to be going down extra slow this time. Maybe I'm wrong. It does seem to be longer than a minute, but time is just... Very yeah. relative in space. Ah! Uh, I think I can get eight before it's over. As well as not dying. Because <laughs> it's not just good enough to get eight. You, you've you have got to also not die. You, you're full. Okay, good. I don't think it's eight. Is it six? I swear I read eight. Okay, low and last wave. The meteors look great. And the spaceships that you're shooting are, have a good variety. And I like the cloaking that it does on that one ship. It says eight. Um, okay. that's... Uh, but if you get hit by a meteor, it doesn't reset the count. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, it's a cumulative yeah. eight. Okay, the only that's thing why is, I was thinking. That, that must be it then, yeah. Because yeah. you have several times thought, started counting, and it didn't take eight. So it must be that yeah. you would reset your counter. Yeah. I think that's a lot more fair on the higher levels when it gets really hard. That it doesn't reset the eight. Yeah. Because then you're really at a disadvantage. It's like, oh, got hit, back to zero. Got hit, back to zero. Okay, it's the last meteor wave. Just gonna avoid the meteors because I don't need those things. Well, I'll get them if I need to because it is does count up, right? Or does it stay at zero when you're full? Or can uh, I kind of uh, build up eight no in idea. the meantime? Hmm. Well, we'll know because then I should only need one more after I get hit. Not unless it resets when you get to eight. Right, it goes to seven, eight, zero, one, two, three. So you should get. I'll experiment next time. I'll get seven, get hit, and then get that eight, and see if it uh, gives me the extra life. And then you can try getting eight and getting hit. Oh my god! No! Oh my god! 
no, I'll never know. I'm not even getting one. Oh, I got one. And it didn't. What? What? A, a bonus meteor stage? What just happened? What just happened? I don't know. I... Oh, uh, it's a bug, for sure. What I happened? was supposed to go to the uh, mothership. Whoa. <laughs> and I was flying off the screen. Uh -huh. Oh my god, twice and? in a row. And it's, it acted like I died. Oh. Because all of a sudden I have all six lives again. And it started the meteor wave again. So I think that was a bug. Oh my god. <laughs> it's kind of dodging. So I'm dodging. Ah! We have died many times over. So we'll see if I. Yeah, that was one. Anybody Two. in the chat saying bug, bug, bug? Not yet. It's Leandro. He's supposed to be watching. He says he wouldn't chat, though. So he's not going to chat. Okay, going to not touch the Oh, uh, yeah, so uh, just for the record, you got six and it wasn't enough. Okay. Oh, it's moving up and down. Oh my god, that looks cool. Yeah. Such a huge character moving up and down is very different. Okay, shoot for the engine thing instead for a bit. That I want to see. No, that's only ten. Yeah, so that's that's the cannons. And what's that? Oh, they have different shots, different missiles. Look at their little, yeah. their round things. Oh, one, two. Oh, missed that one. Ah, they're so dodgy. And the graphics on the mothership are unbelievable. They're really Those cool. Those little, yeah. little, little. I don't know, squiggly things coming out. Very cool. So that's the second mothership? Yeah. So now I'm on to the third stage. And th the third stage on orbit three or stage three. Or this is orbit three. And on stage three, it had a little bonus thing. So, maybe we'll encounter that. Anything in chat? Uh, comments on the game. <laughs> Can you read them out? <laughs> <laughs> I can't read uh, them. Nice, it's impressive. Some mothership explosion would be nice. That is uh, awesome looking. Maybe it explodes after the fourth mothership. Congratulations, nice. It, would it be feasible to have all graphics in the same two-tone style? Perhaps all ships, and then wow. Now with several people, I didn't say any of their names because I am a hack. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> hack fraud. <laughs> I'm a fraud. <laughs> Two, I realized halfway through that three, I was ma doing it four, wrong. Five, six. Is it six or eight? eight. It's eight. Okay. Yeah. Seven. I'm gonna die. Oh no! I don't. No, I actually want to build up my lives. Um, there There's eight. One. Two. Uh, three, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. Now I'm going to get seven. Four, five, six, seven. seven. And then die. And then... When oh, I think I miscounted. That was only oh, two. Oh, okay. So yeah. it does. Yeah. It does. But don't. But now we have to test the rollover theory. We already tested that. And it and it was. Yeah, because, it rolls over. Uh, because you had full, mm. and then you died, and you started, and you got up to six before the level ended, and you did not get one. Right. Okay. So like when you're full, you're not counting anything. So it's like you're full. Uh, what? Seven, eight. Have an extra life. Oh, you can't have one. Zero, one. It two, might not three. even be that. I think it's just that it's not counting. You're full. There's no tally happening. At all. Yeah. Oh. Wait. Oh, but we saw no, no, that no. that's not true because you true. were full. But it, I don't know what I it was. It. All I can say is that you were at six, and you hadn't got another life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll test it on the next easy meteor. Which but maybe you had died immediately after getting the full thing? I don't think so. Uh, yeah. Possible. It's possible. It's fun trying to figure out the internal workings of, God damn it, of the game while playing it. Oh my god, that was close. 
I do need extra lives, actually. <laughs> yep. There's no testing right now. It's just getting. Uh, Purposefully getting. Drop it. Ah! Not God. worth it. Damn it. <laughs> nope, not worth it. That one is. Drop it. Oh my god. Meteors in the upper levels are not easy to avoid. They're, they're murderers? Very, they're murder bots. Mur they're murderers instead of meteors? Murder murderers. Whoa! Come on. <laughs> ah, just need one more, I think. Nope. There. Oh, well. And that's what makes a good game is the... Um, you're, you're full now. Don't die. What happened? Why did you die? You shouldn't I, have died. Now that, you're not full anymore. Did something hit me? I don't know. On the edge, I think. It no. wrapped around. Uh, okay, yeah. I think I'm on the last one. Yeah, these are fast. Pretty much... Ah. Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh. no! 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 <laughs> oh, Come on here. it's Atari! Come on, Atari! Come say hi to the public! No, no, no! I'm oh, gonna have to continue. Is what is that? happening? Oh, my shots are slow now! Oh, they're painfully slow. One down to two lives. So they do get slow. They get slow, yeah. Whoa! Bad! You're in the, uh... Losing, lose more. Oh, and I'm situation. so slow too. Oh, I'm in the lose, lose. <laughs> I'm gonna continue. <laughs> and the music changes too when you're, in, <laughs> when you're in the bad, the bad state. Ah, oh. oh, divey ship. What is happening? What? What is going on? I don't even seem to be in control of the controller, and yet <laughs> what's happening on screen looks so familiar. <laughs> I swear I just died twice in a row and yeah. nothing hit me. That was that. Well, no, it's just that like sometimes you die and then you're frozen, and then a bomb comes in and gets you just as you're. That's true. Yeah, because the game doesn't pause when you're dead. There's no. Uh... Life does not no, pause it's... just because you're dead. <laughs> it's true. Life goes on. <laughs> It goes on. It continues. Now I don't know how much time I've left. It doesn't matter, because I'm dying anyway. Yeah, that must be a bug. I noticed that, too, that once I died too many times... No, no, no. Yeah. Your radar goes off. Like, that's your, oh, That's part of the game. Oh, that's cool. It punishes, more, punishes you more. More punishment for sucking. <laughs> don't suck so hard. <laughs> Stop sucking so hard. <laughs> Yeah, you slow down, your ship slows down, your shots slow down, you don't know how much time you have left. What are you doing, monster? It's just straight up punishment all what the way. Doing? So it should be in the third uh, orbit. Damn, I moved too much. So if there is that bonus thing, then it should be showing up some point maybe you have to play better for it to show up <laughs> oh i almost died again now i should be going to the mothership or the bonus thing or maybe the bonus thing's after the mothership don't know we shall see seconds how many go. how many of these love how many meteor rounds are there per orbit uh three. Oh, I can barely see my shots so, so you you run into three meteor rounds. Yeah. The meteor round there's no bonus round then. Not really. Like the meteor round is the bonus round is where you get your your yeah. life back. If if there's a bonus round, yeah. It's just part of it. It's like you go through each one. You go through each level in orbit. Yeah. And each level in orbit has a meteor level and a an aliens or jerks level. Yes, that is correct. <sighs> Do I start at the mother? No, there's no, no you don't, you don't get to the... restart. You don't get to restart on a mothership level. It's just game over. It's game over. Game over, man. Loving this game. Coconut81 says, It is really cool. Like, that mothership is so awesome looking. With the um, moving. Look at that thing inside of it. It's going back and forth. 
as well. Oh. And it's got a little bubble dome and spinning parts and radar spinning things. That I thought is incredible. Yeah, it looks really good. That's probably one of the most detailed, largest ships. Single enemies. Hi, you're so cute. Look at that belly. <laughs> okay, so that thing is still. So I should go there. That's where you were. Right. That's where I want to be. I Back believe that's there. where you were. Yeah. yeah. Although you're, we're fighting a brown ship. Hmm. Anyways, go there. <laughs> Enjoy your punishment. Yes. The uh, the scrolling uh, starfield in the background is uh, really nice. Parallax? No, they just they kind of blink in and out too. They scroll and change at the same time. Because this is the third orbit. Oh no, it's, it is hard because I am in the third orbit. That's right. So there should be one of these, then a meteor, then the mothership in this one. Oh! <laughs> Don't take your hand off the joystick in this game. There is no rest for the wicked. <laughs> oh my god. This is not easy. That does seem faster than the meteor part. Is the meteor a minute or is it two minutes? Can you read the instructions again? Because this does seem longer than that. That seemed to zoom by really, really quick. Avoid the meteors, recharge the, energy, the ship's energy batteries, and acquire extra points. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Again, the time reference bar shows the duration of the crossing of this zone within the stage. It says one minute. Okay. Uh, maybe it just feels longer. <laughs> ah! No! All that for wet for nothing. Well, not really. It adds up. Ugh, but I've only got three energy bars going into the mothership. Whiff. Ah! That's the last one. Okay. Mothership time. Ugh. Oh, Instead of panicking. Oh my god. It's so hard! <laughs> Must defeat. Must defeat. Oh, are you timing? I I do genuinely believe this one is a minute. It feels like the it. other one this time seemed like it was a minute. Yeah, it did. It would seem shorter. So the strategy in this one is stay. Don't do that. Um, if they're moving to the right, just stay a little bit further right from them. Yeah. Don't yeah, go. Don't a... cross them. Yeah, that's where I always was dying. Yeah. Oh my God! You're Punishing. Blaming? I don't think God's to blame. I, I'll blame the cats then. <laughs> oh, oh my Atari! Cats. Oh my cats! <laughs> oh Atari! I do actually blame the cats a lot. It, it, to be fair, it is on occasion their fault, uh, or at least on occasion they share the blame with you. Oh yeah, yeah they do. Right, so that was definitely a minute. Yeah. Okay. No, I need the power pellets. No. I need power pellets. The hardest one is the triple uh, spaced apart. Yeah. That one. Yeah. Because they all, it almost completely covers the screen. You, ha you almost have to be get good at unless that. you unless you luck out and you're on one end uh yeah and like you can't move fast enough out of the way of them like I can barely move out of the way of just normal ones so yeah. you have to pick 
pick your spot and, and go for it. Maybe I can get an extra life. Maybe. Oh my god. Uh, oh, what? I went right through it. You're not allowed to pick it up while you're ascending to... Uh... Yeah, that was a minute. Yeah? Huh. It just feels like more because it's more intense. Yeah. Over. That's not. I don't know if that's a good spot to be in. Is uh, the very left or right? Because you can't move out of the way. I think this spot or the one to the. Oh, now my shots are slow. I'm not going to defeat him. He's rising up. I don't have enough time. Hopefully, I got enough shots off at the beginning of the. It's so damn hard! <laughs> you know it's a good game when you have to de defeat the boss, no matter what. Yes. Yeah. The lightning of the mothership is reversed compared to the player ship. The lighting. Right? Nice boss battle. It is a really good boss battle. Yeah, yeah. Like, really good. And 50 is about the right amount of shots. At least in the last two. Obviously this one's a lot harder. Okay, I'm going to give it one more try. Yes. One more try. Um, and then... We're just going to jump straight to the hardest level. Just see how hard it is. Okay. Even though I can't beat the third one, there's no way I can beat the fourth one. So this has a very good amount of ramp up. Like the easy levels are easy enough that, yep, you could yeah. make it to the first boss. Yep. And the hard ones are definitely hard enough to give you a good challenge. Yeah. And that's, and that's really what you want out of any game where at any skill level you are that you can still enjoy it but be challenging enough to, for really good players which i'm not apparently oh my god that's a rage reset <laughs> that's that's <laughs> what you call a rage reset i call that <laughs> terrible at counting <laughs> 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 Went right into it. Either that or bad faith counting. Bad faith counting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel bad about how terrible I was doing at this level. Uh, neither do I. Like you. <laughs> like it's uh, hard. <laughs> it is damn hard. Oh, Jerry, why are you showing us your naughty bits? Huh? <laughs> is it a trap? It's, it's a trap. It's a trap. It's Not a with trap. Atari. He just kind of looks annoyed when you touch him on his stomach. He doesn't bite you or... He shows his upsetness on his face, but he won't, he won't go after you. Oh my God! Oh my cats! It's pointless at this point. I know I said one more game, but... I gotta make it to the, to the meteors with at least three. <laughs> Leandro, you have made an excellent game. Yep. Really, really, really good. I don't know if that diamond is flashing on purpose, but it, it seems to be. Well, that's very, that's very short lag. That is. That's really short lag. Like, that's like <laughs> seconds. That's like yeah. two seconds lag. Wow. wow that's, that's really, really fast. Impressive. Check. Check, check, check. <laughs> oh, I turned it off. I just turned it off. Sorry. Okay. And what off? <laughs> the, 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 you were doing the check, and oh, I, I oh, clicked I see. the X to turn it off. <laughs> that's okay. I just, it was about, to, it was I just a... wanted to join the, the posting of a Rage Reset. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone else is doing it, and I wanted to do it too! Oh, the, uh, the graphic? Who's got your belly? Oh, did people post belly? the Rage Reset graphic? Yes. Nice. <laughs> you gotta do it. When it happens, and it will happen, especially on the fourth game, there's gonna be a lot of Rage Resetting. I'm actually going to play the fourth game on an emulator. 
because it's going to be... Darcy would have to sit on the floor <laughs> for the fourth game. The amount of times I'll be resetting it because it's a very short game. It's 30 seconds long. Um, on which game? The fourth game? Uh, the fourth game with uh, the patch. Gotcha. Um, so what I'm going to do is plug in a joystick uh, into the emulator, USB joystick. That I, has... can, I, can, I can sit over there. I have my own camera. I can lie on the floor. Ooh, and... I'm going in with five. Going in oh. with five. Oh. Still going to die. Oh yeah, get get in there. Yeah, lots of shots. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Kicking ass. Oh, damn it. You're screwed now. Mm. Does it ascend up the screen? Oh no, you got nice. it. Nice. Nice. Points, points, points. Oh Sar. my god. Ah! <laughs> uh. Okay, I'll continue. Because, why not? Um, but then if I die, I'll go um, straight to the sh mothership. On the fourth orbit. I don't know what that flashing thing was, though. What flashing thing? Uh, on the radar. Like it's it's in the instructions it says like it's a bonus. What is it's as a question mark. Yeah, I don't know what that was either. Can you reread the instructions? Yeah. Is that part of it Let's for the radar? Because maybe you have to make it with all your lives to get the bonus or something, or do it in a certain way. Reset switch and select switch, keeping both the rest of the same with something found on the radar. It's yeah, set, that's all it says. Was something found on the radar? Well, it was. But we didn't encounter it. <clears throat> Anything in the chat? Oh, look how slow these guys are. Is this how slow they normally are? Uh, 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 Daniel Medino wants you to try to use the paddles. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Before we go to the next game, there are alternate... Um... Carl, Carl G. wanted to get, uh, give you a hint. Uh, he said, uh, just don't let the projectiles hit you. Um, Which projectiles? The projectiles that kill you. <laughs> All of them? Yeah, don't, don't let any of them kill you. Oh, That's... a hint. I thought he was talking about the hint for the bonus thing. It's like, well, it is a good hint because that's definitely what you want to strive for. <laughs> Pokemon 81 says if this is the three is if this is game three in the series I cannot wait to see game one and two yeah Such amazing work yeah oh yeah this is incredible work I mean people are making fun of the chunky chunky sprites at the beginning mm -hmm. um, but that that is the thing about the 2600 it doesn't it doesn't matter what it looks like it's how it plays yeah, yeah. and this plays incredibly. But this also looks good. Oh, yeah, yeah. It look, it, the, the ship design is really great, especially with the light and the dark. He's thinking about um, shadows and lighting when he uh, picked those colors. Yep. Because you think, oh, it's, it's teal and dark blue? No, 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 it's a shadow. And the control on your ship is really, really good. Oh, my God. Now I'm in slow mode. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> not gonna make it, and we'll just be fast forwarding to the mothership, which I won't make it to, I am sure. Is the time up yet? I can't tell. <laughs> I just slow shots. There we go. Now it's time to die. Do you wake up first? Before dying? Yeah. Uh, Wake up, it's time to die. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. What, uh, what movie is that from? I Blade always Runner. forget. Uh, wake up, time to die. Uh, okay, we're gonna fast forward. What happened? Who was touching your bits? Who? Hey. Yeah, that's right. Worm, get that worm spot. Get it. Get it. Don't Where's just sit four? right down. You'll be sitting on an Atari. Where's the four? There it is. That's B A. Okay. Oh. 
Squish! Squish the cat head! <laughs> okay, this is the hardest... Hardest level. So it's the hardest uh, version of each of the, of the games. Be the hardest shooting part and the hardest meteor part. Let's see how far I get. Follow your rules. Yep. For victory. For victory! Is it only the diamond guy who shoots? No. No, no. no. Purple Mostly. guy shoots, but the purple guy... Yeah, the purple guy shoots, he's just more deadly because he's not Did so I regular. Just die twice. Yeah, that's Goodness. how it works. The guy shoots a lot. Oh, only one person shoots on the screen at a time, so when the diamond guy goes away, the purple guy shoots. They're very polite. <laughs> Like, no, no, you go ahead. No, you go ahead. It's okay. That is useful information. It is very. So you can, you're safe with the purple guy, except he dodges downward. And, um... He can run into you. I would like an extra life. It would be nice if I can, if I'm possibly going to make it out of this alive, which is... Possible. Let's see. You did get one, but you know. That's just one. You don't lose any. Yeah, it's a slow build up, but a quick destruct drop. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Damn it! All that! Wasted! Wasted! Yeah, but it's not like. The thing is, like. It's not oh, like you up. went for it knowing the danger. No. There was no was danger, and you were there, and it just, yeah. Oh, we got to see the last mothership. And you did recover one. Oh, it's a flashy one. Nice. Oh, my God. Flashy mothership. Oh, my shots are slow and useless. I'll never get to 50 at this speed. Oh, and you can't tell when you're hitting it, because it used to flash when you hit it. Yeah. So that adds... Oh, got one more shot in. <laughs> See that? There we go. Really, yeah. really cool. We're going to try the alternate um, input scheme, which is the paddles in port one, and the joystick in port two. The joystick in port two is just for starting. Too many cables. Oh, it fell out. I'll give you the paddles. And I believe it's left and right for the two buttons. I'll figure that out. Which one is which? We'll just go to the easiest, just so we can show it off without. What, is, what do the buttons do? Uh, left and right. Supposedly. We're moving? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Of course you can't fire. One second. There you go. Auto fire. The black and white switch. It should shoot disco balls, the fourth one. James, can you compile the ship with the features? The paddle control buttons need to be on the left control and the shot and the automatic C, uh, key C black and white switch in position black and white. Yes. Uh-oh. And we are doing that right now. How is it? <laughs> it's actually really cool, yeah. but I, I keep uh, just having too much fun switching back and forth, and sometimes I'm just moving randomly. <laughs> By just playing around. That is a unique uh, control system that I've never ever seen, going left and right with the paddles, and not using the actual paddles. That's funny. I wonder if it's easier to pull for the paddle buttons. Yeah, it would be. It would be. Then the potentiometers of the paddles itself. Thank you, Daniel Medina 2600 for subscribing. It's because I listened to him and used the paddles. <laughs> <laughs> and Coconut81 uh, gifted tier one sub to Daniel Medina. Coconut81's gift shared rewards to five others in chat. Five emotes shared. Ooh, we got five new emotes. 
Oh, you can make it to the mothership? Yeah, you'll make it. No, you don't get to the mothership with one. Uh, oh, no, you don't. You're still on stage one? Orbit one? can't remember what the... What is it called? Uh -oh. Galaxy one? I did. You dead? Not worth dead, it. dead? Not, Not worth dead, it. dead. No. You can it... do it. <laughs> I just meant that I uh, Galaxy put myself view. in the corner. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Nope. I actually saw that film <laughs> a couple weeks ago. What is it called? Uh, Dirty Dancing. Dirty Dancing. It was terrible. So cheesy. So cheesy. We saw the making of it. Yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, that was uh, a little mini documentary. Yeah. That was, right. that was fairly interesting. Yep. A lot of inside information about how that lake dried up. And uh, recently the lake is back. Saw that somewhere on the news. It's filling back up again. It was like dry for decades. Yes, paddle buttons map to joystick left and right under the hood. Ah, okay, thanks, Carl G. So it is much easier to read those uh, paddle buttons. Hey, 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 hey! Bad cat! Scratching. Are you still surviving? Yeah. Ah. Oh, why do you have to say that? <laughs> I don't know. Time to build yourself back up. Yeah. Catch all the blue things. Catch the to, energy. Try not to die. Try not trying to, to get die. one. Yeah, don't risk one it. One bonus. Uh. Uh. Oh. Out of... Uh, out of... Out of extreme, super danger. <laughs> out of extreme low power mode. Yeah, into just low power mode. So you can do that paddle trick with any left, right only game. Oh, really? So they translate exactly. They map to the joystick left button. Joystick left and right. Oh, okay. So this is just, it's just automatic. So he didn't have to do anything special at all uh, for the game. He just let people know because his game has auto fire. Well, he did have to do something special. He had to have an option for auto fire. Um, and he also had to make it so you could start with the right joystick button. Because all of the switches do very special things. Like, there is no start in the game with the switches. Oh, low power mode. Low power mode engaged. Darcy's hiding out on the right-hand side of the screen. <laughs> is this the third? Yeah. It's the third round, right? Bad scene. Bad scene all around. This is the third. Third. Yeah. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, you made it pretty far, pretty far with the paddles. Excellent. That's why I choose joystick right and reset to exit emulation on the plus cart. Oh, yeah. I was going to talk about that. Um, and it sounds like Batari is also going to, in the next update, enable people to exit out of the game and go back into the menu without switching on and off. Ah. the game by using um, joystick right and the reset switch at the same time because usually so you're not did you just say that you they would utilize a way to get out of the game without hitting the reset switch no without going off and on again oh I see yeah and it goes you back to the menu yeah okay because very rarely would you press right and reset at the same time so thank you so much leandro camara if that's how you say it correctly sorry if it's not um tifos i may have to move to the plus cart yeah plus cart's very cool i need to get it working i've got some new suggestions to try out so far i've failed trying to hook it up to my router it just does not work uh, but i've got some new suggestions that i can try that people have put in there so i'll try that very soon so uh excellent excellent uh game Deep Space. Did you enjoy yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really cool. Lots of variety. Three different levels. Nice overview I screen. I preferred this too. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's a good alternate uh, input device. Nice space shooter. Definitely a nice space shooter. Uh, okay, we're gonna move on to our second game, which I completely.
completely forgotten about what it is because we've been playing this for an hour and a half. Oh my god. Oh my. Uh, Cave Run, which we're going to play on emulator because I'll show you why. We're going to be playing it on the emulator. Yeah? Do you have something to say? Oh, Mr. Bun. Pixel? Oh, bun. I just got a vicious bun. A vicious bunning. Bunning? Yes. Butting? Bun. Bun. Bun? Yes, when a cat bunts you. Uh, bunning. Bunning? Ready. Uh. So this is Cave Run. Man. Thank you, Here you go. By Steve Engelhart, Atarius Maximus. is from 2012, this build, August 2nd. Uh, it's 32K F4 uh, SC. Very cool uh, that you can't see. One second. Very cool title screen with music. Looks like a cave. Um, and if Darcy presses a button, it's got some cool uh, options here. Bat speed, low and high. Uh, God, God mode, mode, which is cool if you want to oh, play God through mode. and see all the levels. And that's the map, because I've got all the switches all crazy. And the shaking is why we're going to be playing this in emulator. <laughs> because he doesn't have the line count. Uh, uh oh, I, I died. Correct. And he does acknowledge that in his thread about the line count. He said, uh, in uh, March 7th, 2012, I just tried it for the first time on my Harmony. Oh, and this I game is again. not 100% hardware compatible. I'll work on an update eventually, but for now, just enjoy it in Stella. No! Which he didn't update it, unfortunately. But it is a very, very cool game. Um, so we're going to switch over to Stella to play this one. And in the meantime, Darcy can play it again. In the shaky mode for about two seconds. Oh. And I'll get that going on the screen here. Oh. It is not there at all. Game two. What Stella. Are you, what are you doing? Oh, there we go. Are you on camera? I'm on the camera. You're sort of. Sort of on camera. I want to be on the camera. Right. So, oh. okay. Fishes. Fishes. run. Very loud. Sorry. There we go. So now we have it running on Stella, so it won't shake because Stella erases shaking automatically. It erases shaking automatically. Yeah, because the shaking is when there's. Um, Line counts, how many lines the game is drawing on your screen, theoretically. But it's emulating drawing on a screen. And what Stella does is get rid, gets rid of those um, incorrect line counts that cause it to go... Um, because on some CRTs, you don't see that. Right. Depending on the line shake. So Stella just went, no, we're not going to do the line shaking. I believe you can emulate so it does do the shaking. Darcy played well with the paddles. So do I have this set up correctly? Oh, I may not be focused on it. That's why. There we go. This doesn't seem to be... No! <laughs> Don't do that yet. Um, Don't do what yet? Uh, go to the game. Because I haven't done things yet so this should be placed uh up our joystick zero is this not joystick zero apparently not hey 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 oh that cat <laughs> what does hey mean in cat it means i'm gonna get you ah. if you don't get down from there <laughs> and he knows that but he's also going up there on purpose to get attention so that's a bit of an issue okay so we're good we're mapped now that's pause <laughs> um gonna map 
one of these to reset. It's a pretty good bat slash dragon. <laughs> I guess that's a bat. Uh, I think it is a bat. It has to be a bat because it, there was a bat speed. Reset. It was is bat speed. Joystick thing. zero. Let's go to. Let's make it start. And select. We'll make. Hey, you're looking at it. Oh, maybe you're not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There we go. Now we're playing with power. And I will let you have the honors of the first game. Get some more slack for you. Sotarius Maximus posted on July 26th, uh, 2012. Uh, uh, I blew the dust off an old project. I started back in 2009 and finally finished it up. I started using the platformer source code that Batari posted in May 2009. I started the game with no theme in mind. I just knew I wanted to write a platform game. In the end, I uh, decided to stick with the cave-in theme and call it Cave Run. It uses a standard kernel, 32k, and super chip option. No! Uh, eliminate oh shape shaking oh if you aren't my. in developer mode. So yeah, I guess you can go into developer mode in Stella. No! Uh, no! Oh, yeah, I want to show you something. You can see the line count up there. I put it on the screen as Darcy moves around. You can see it flashing from 262, which is the ideal one recommended by the original Atari. What is, uh, what is happening? <laughs> is it weird? I guess I just keep pressing duck. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're probably pressing, oh my God, the cat. You're probably pressing left and down or right and down accidentally. Yeah. Um, call it cave run and use it, blah, 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 blah. Okay, instructions. Looks like uh -oh, pretty I got, I got bat batted. Batted. I think batted that was the first time. batting I got. Did you? Yeah, mostly falling? Yes, I'm I'm very clumsy. I'll turn that off. Everybody's seen that. Okay. The object is to run through the 30 horizontally placed screens or caves and grab the treasure on each level. Treasures. Some backtracking and creative jumping is required to reach some of them. Once you've collected all the treasures, the final screen unlocks. If you successfully navigate the last screen, you win the game. No! Uh, you start the game with three lives. I've done a few hours of playtesting. I was able to reach all the treasures and beat the game. But it's possible there's a bug in the code that I haven't found yet. Pixel, no. smack your bum. Rage reset. Get out of there. <laughs> Rage re <laughs> it's easy on this, isn't it? Oh, bat. <laughs> <laughs> Looks tricky. It is a really interesting platformer because you can... Oh. First of all, you have to avoid the bat, but uh, the screens wrap around, so you have to also think about where you're coming in and off on each of the screens. Um, here's the outline of the basics. Uh, obstacles. Any of these obstacles will cause you to lose a life. When you die, you explode like a bomb. I threw that in there from the beginning mostly because it was kind of funny. No specific explanation why you explode when you die in the game. <laughs> oh, I think you might have to get that from the yeah. left hand side. Uh, the bat. There's a bat that flies around each screen. If it touches you, you'll lose a life. The bat will disappear after a hit just for the screen you're on. It will reappear when you when the screens change. I don't know how I get back up there, though. Try and get to the lower platform from that one. And then go up. Huh? Go up. Go to the other platform. Yeah. That one. Then jump to the All left. Right. And then there go up go. there. Yeah. The cat is on a rampage. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bear. Uh, if you fall off the bottom of the screen, you'll lose a life. Barrier. Some screens have a barrier that moves back and forth. If it, if you hit it, it will push you to the right and could cause you to fall in a pit. Uh, be careful to time your jumps and avoid them. Yay! Treasures. There are two treasures in each of the 31 rooms. Some move in... Oh my god, the cats are crazy. Needs more golden statues and giant rolling granite balls. <laughs> He does have a uh, very uh, specific hat. Nice. Oh, opportune. <laughs> uh, 
Others are positioned so that you may have to fall in them to collect them, and some are static. All 62 need to be collected to win the game. Uh, your score, you score 10,000 points for each treasure. You do. Uh, uh, but it's more of a way to keep track of how many you've collected. You end up with the same score every time if you beat the game. I use Batari's 5 plus 1 score mini kernel, so the right side represents your remaining lives. Oh. Um, where was I? Options. I've included an option screens at the beginning of the game to let you choose the speed of the bat, god mode, which disables collisions with the bat and the barrier, gravity, and jump velocity. To choose an option... Here, you can keep writing. I was right around there. To choose an option, move the joystick up and down to select which option you want to change, and then push the joystick left or right to, to select the setting. For that option, pressing the fire button will start the game. Please note that the default options for gravity and jump velocity are what I designed with. Some platforms are placed under very specific, in very in a very specific places that match up with the defaults. Oh. Right. Choosing different options is fun to play around with in the game, but certain combinations of them could make the game unplayable. Unwinnable. 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 Ah. Bat so speed. I high or low? Low is default. High simply makes the bat fly around faster. Player speed. High or low? Low is the default. High makes the player run faster. God on or off? This is the de Off is the default. Turning god mode on disables collision detection with the bat and barriers and also allows you to fall into a pit and survive. Gravity, high or low? High gravity is the default. Switching to low gravity will allow you to jump farther. Random start, on or off? Off is the default. You'll always start in the first room at the beginning of the map. God. Turning random on will cause you oh. to start in a random location. Velocity, high or low? Low velocity is default. Switching to high velocity will allow you to jump higher. High velocity jumping may make it impossible to get certain treasures. Mm. The map screen, press the color black and white switch or F4, F3, and Stella to go to the map screen. The map screen shows all 31 rooms in order from the top left down to the bottom right. It also shows you the current position on the map and which rooms still have treasures in them which that need to be picked up. Which uh, button does that? Uh, color black and white. Oh, okay. It shows have, you the map. Don't have that mapped. Or this. F4, F3 in Stella. Oh, okay. The remaining treasures will only be shown on the current row you're in on the map screen. Oh, it kind of... It's kind of doing weird things there. Ah, uh, run, 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 run. That bat is... very annoying. It's a menace. Updated on... August 2nd, 2012. Update 2 has a few bug fixes and a few changes to the options screen and map screen. Option uh, Changes to the options screen and map screen also attach to the title screen folder in case anyone wants to compile the game. 3712, just tried it for the first time on my Harmony and this game is not 100% hardware compatible. It'll work on an update eventually. I'll work on an update eventually, but for now, just enjoy it on Stella. Lies. Uh, eventually has not come to an end. <laughs> That's true. So he's still good for that eventually. I think I have to go around the other way to get that one. I can't get it. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. I have to jump from a higher spot. There we go. Let me get that one first. Ah! That's still good. Get that one back a bit so I don't forget that I missed it. Not that I'm going to make it all through all 31 screens. <laughs> <laughs> Only in god mode. I have to jump or fall? Okay, I can fall. That one is trapped. Can I get to I it now? Fine. No. It's like an underground passage to get there. Avoid the bat. There we go. Get safer up there. Oh, I can't get out. I've got one life left. Ah! 
No! No! Does it always start in the same spot? Oh, it does. What if I can duck? Oh, just barely. Okay, let's go up. I don't think I can make it up there. I'm gonna have to go around somehow. Yep, take those stairs. I like that it's persistent. <laughs> the bat? No, oh, the, the maps. Oh, yeah, yeah. But you go back and forth. I don't know if I've ah. played a game where it's like that. Very few. Here. Um, that you can, one, go back to, and yeah. two, that... I have to fall off. Was there something here? No. That the treasures stay. That's okay. what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, the persistence of uh, the treasures and it remembering that you did or didn't get them. Yeah, because usually they don't do that because there's not much memory. Oh, EWCN777, thank you for following. Glad you're enjoying the stream enough to do that. I don't think I can jump that far, so I think I have to go around to get that red one. Can I get that? Nope. So for some reason, ladder. I think everything is placed. Ah, oh, no! For some reason, you think everything is placed... On purpose. <laughs> oh, I see. Like, not, definitely not randomly placed dots. Like, everything is put so it's just out of reach, or you have to do something very specific. Push me, push. <laughs> to get to them. This game would be interesting even without the bat. Just trying to figure out how yeah. to get to everything. But with the bat, it just makes it... Uh, well, infuriating, but <laughs> but extra challenging. Like you do need the bat. Oh boy. Oh, oh, uh, uh, uh. oh, ding dong. Thank you very much. Oh, persistent. There's a delivery. It's probably for Tanya, because I haven't ordered anything. They usually just leave it now at the front. Most people don't usually. Oh my god. Ah, oh, Tanya. Ordering stuff. Oh my god. That is a hard jump because that thing pushes you off. And the bat's in the way. Oh, god. I believe the um, the the game engine that this was used from was the Gingerbread Man game engine. Oh wow, I made that jump. That was good. Accidentally. Um, Gingerbread Man is a hard game, which I haven't completed yet, I don't think. I was very close, but I was not close enough. So it's... So it uses the same, um, I can't get up there. This will make it easier. Down! Ah! Now to go to the underground passage. Doing better this time. Which is good. As you should in games. <laughs> if you're getting worse, it's time to stop playing the game and play it again another day. Ah! Get it! Run! Ah! <laughs> uh, uh, I, I think I yeah. It places you a little bit in on the screen, but you can go back a bit. Yeah, it's weird. That is weird. Okay, I'll get this red one down here. And, uh, I think they, do they always? Do the bats? It looks like it's always in the same spot. I mean, no matter so. what screen, it's like flying down to the left. So that's good to know. No, that one's not. Oh my god. This one you have to fall down. That's okay. Oh my god. Whoa! There's been a group of crows in the neighborhood that have been so noisy for weeks now. I think they're some baby crows. 
with their mother. They're like a group. I can hear one of them now. Uh, no, I can't get that one. Got to get it up top. Let's chat say, please. Anything interesting? Uh, yeah, I like that the, uh, Miss Command, I like that the platforms, uh, you pop up into them instead of keeping you from jumping, yeah. Yeah, it's a, a really, oh no, look what it did. Look at this. Traps you up there. <laughs> so you have to walk all the way back through levels. How fun Aww. do I have to Muffin, in. oh, never mind. I'm supposed to anyway. <laughs> it's good it trapped me because I would have forgotten about that one. I'm going to go all the way up because it looks like it wants you to do that. Huh? Yeah. Ah. Sometimes it gives hints by its design. You can jump over that other wall, couldn't you? Ooh, ooh, I bet I could. I wonder how high up my... Uh... No, maybe not. No, no there is the there is a blockage. If it goes all the way to the top, you can't. Okay. Okay, we're good. Now, this looks like supposed to do this. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. I don't think I can do it. No. You can go back now. Need to anyway. Why would you? Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. You just leave the screen. Did I mess up? No, you go to the next screen. Yeah, so I can't get up there. Oh, okay. Good. Okay up to the red, and then we'll drop down to the yellow. I love platformers. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna do that. that one I'm going to have to kind of grab at the top when it's at the top. Somehow. There we go. Like so. Like, oh my god. Hmm. Ah, bird. Ah! I have to jump on. Get past it. Oh, it changed position. It did. So it must uh, be two places it can start. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. I don't think I can jump that chasm. It looks pretty wide. I'm going to go up top because I have to get one up there anyway. Can't get up there. I can get up here. So far, it hasn't been like, well, I'm going to kill you by by dropping... Oh, my God. Oh, can I make it to that bottom? Oh, my God. Yeah, you can make it back, though. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> you think I could have crossed... I probably could have at the... The next screen allows a way to get up to the top. That's what I'm saying. Oh, easier? To the I, red? I don't know if it's easier, but it's possible. Because this is... It would have to be with this gap, right? Like, the fact that you can't... Right. Cross that gap means that there must be some way Ooh. or some reason to go there. Okay, when I was testing out this game... Go all the way across first. See if there's anything. Ah! Uh, yeah, you don't need to do it that way. You can get there. From when I was testing out this game, I couldn't figure out a way out to get out of that pit. Which pit? But I don't know if you need to get into the pit. I think the pit is the problem. Yeah, I don't think you need to get into that pit. You might fall into it. Oh, I can't but... get down there. Oh. Hmm. So I have to go... Ah! Down. And then jump up. And then somehow grab that at the top. Hmm. Oh, God. That's close. Do I do that? Do I do it that way? There we go. Ah! You got the thing, at least. I did. Now I have to die. <sighs> yeah, this doesn't seem right. This sh you shouldn't be in a spot where you're stuck, and the only way out is to die. Well, that I doesn't. Don't... That's not how. That's not the right way to. <laughs> if 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 you're not supposed to fall down there, there shouldn't be platforms. <laughs> it should just be an open pit. Yep. So it doesn't deceive you. Yeah. Hmm. 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 
figure out a way to hack through the wall here. I'll just die by that. If this game had a roaming mummy and pharaoh, it could almost be the same vein as pharaoh's curse needs more traps or more enemy types. See, uh, you could add to this quite a bit. Like, just take this game and add, like, spikes coming up or things that are walking back and forth. But um, somebody is working on a game very similar to that. So, I, oh, I died by the bat. And look where it put me. What the hell? That is that's not, not right. right. No, that's not right. So now I just die and I'll reappear in the here again? No, you don't, because you only have zero lives left. Ah, uh, it's one of these games. <laughs> the life we show you on the screen is the life you're currently living. Yeah. <laughs> and now you have zero left after yep. we subtract the one from the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, that's <sighs> also wrong. <laughs> Uh, I noticed it earlier, though, so that's why I knew you weren't going um, to. It's funny it makes that sound. Okay, we'll investigate some of the other options, um, but we do have to move on, I think. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go to the bat speed high. We won't turn god mode on, uh, because jump gravity... Oh, this is very weird how it does it. Because you move left and right <laughs> by going up and down. Yeah. That's not right. Um, jump velocity oh, is high. Gravity low. Yeah. Player speed high. Random start. We'll just keep that off because. Whoa! We're on the moon! Whoa! 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 whoa. This is uh, not crazy. This is crazy. Oh, you can't even. Yeah, that's what it said. It said that there are actually, there are places you can't get because you have uh, low gravity. Oh, you have to play this very differently. Oh my god. You, you um, I think your strategy so far has been eat the bat. <laughs> it has been, it's a lot harder to avoid. Uh, I think it <laughs> resets everything. Uh, let's keep the bat low. Jump gravity. Actually, let's keep jump gravity high. Jump velocity high. And jump velocity high. Yeah, now Oops. start. I start. It's it's very crazy. Yeah. Gravity high. I think we're good. Bat speed low. Air speed low. Yeah. So I don't know. That's better. So I can just jump a lot. The, the gravity is still normal, but I can jump higher than normal. Which still makes you have to do this very... Now it's different because I'm not floaty. Oh, You didn't make it last time either. <laughs> I thought you had gravity as high. Oh, high, yes. Right. Speed be low, jump gravity high, jump velocity high. I'm going to try and get that yellow. I think you can do it from the bottom, maybe? Oh. Is that going to push me off? Oh, it will. It will, yeah. It will happily land. push you off. There we go. No. I could have done it. <laughs> I did not do it. Fall off that way. Oh, yeah. That's the legit way to get it. There we go. When gravity's the other way, too, so. Wee, wee, wee. It does change it into a different game, so it does have replayability value um, with the other options. Especially with the harder bat, too. Fast yeah, bat. the harder bat would make it insane. <laughs> yes. Because you're already kind of moving chaotically. You're dodging it constantly. I didn't do too bad. I think this will go on my list of games I need to complete. 100%. For sure, because I think I could possibly do it. So I got through about, what do you think, 10, 12 screens around? You did pretty good, time. yeah, yeah. And that's like almost a third of the way through, and that was only my second, second, third game. Yep. So I think I could do it. Excellent, excellent game. Um, really good. I wish, um, what's going on here? Um, that it was fixed for, the line count issue was fixed, so I could play it on um, uh, actual hardware.
but it well, is not. Well, you could play it. It just flickers. Uh, yeah, it'd be very distracting, and nobody would want to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to move on to our third game now, which is Bert, which uses special controllers. Oh. Because it's actually a kid's game. It's not going to take very long. That's why I put it in with these other big games. There you go. If you could unravel that and show the audience what it is. It is a big blue controller for kids because it's colorful. And it was a whole bunch of Sesame Street games made with it. And so this is kind of uh, <laughs> continuing on with the theme of kids games. And this is... Bert. It's a kid's controller. What can you make them do? Sit. <laughs> Jump. Stay quiet. <laughs> yell. Oh, wait, no. That's, no, not that, that's, that's that removes That removes the anti-yell. Yes. <laughs> you oh, never yelling. have to tell a kid to yell. No, they. that's an automatic feature. That's ah! built, that's yeah. built in. <laughs> um, go to sleep. Play with your toys. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so this is done by Chris Reed, uh, Atari 2600 Land, first posted August 5th of this year. And this build is August 20th. Oh, this doesn't work. I uh, know. Why not? It should, shouldn't it? Oh, I see. This, I see. This thing is... This thing is supposed to stay attached to that. It's different size. Yeah. It's, I thought you were being funny. You knew that it was that one. But it theoretically, uh, it, I if thought, it fit, I it actually would work. thought it was going to work. Um, theoretically, I thought it I was should. being clever, not silly. Like this comes out of the back of the joystick, but yeah. it actually is the same nine pins. Yeah, I know. It's weird that it doesn't fit. Yeah, it's different. They just picked a little bit tinier. Why would you do that? So it falls out easy. <laughs> That's why. Oh my goodness. And it does fall out easy. Okay, so let's go back to the Atari 2600. And we'll put that in after, because it's hard to navigate oh, menus. Oh my god. Why does that look purple? That shouldn't be purple. Oh, because it goes a little crazy. It thinks we're like PAL land. Uh, if the line count is a little bit off in the game, the last game you played. Uh, and uh, so let's go to... Bert. Bert game. Bert 23. This has got some uh, copyrighted music theme song. Uh oh. We're going to get flagged. We may get flagged. <laughs> well, you, you'll have to. La 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 <laughs> yeah. Another early ZPH show. Hello, ZPH. What did I mess so far? You messed it all you up. Messed Cafe everything. Man. Cafe Man 2D. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna plug in the. You missed a world premiere off the top of the show, and then Cave Run, which was also awesome. Okay. So we're gonna turn it back on, and you press one of the buttons to start. Oh no, it's reset. He did not program in start yet. So, you move back and forth with the uh, pad. What pad? Four and six, I think it is. Or the one oh, and those two, are the only ones one I and didn't three. Try. There you go. <laughs> so, other games by this person, uh, I by can move Chris. With the six. Not the four? Try the five. Try the five. Hmm. He did recently change the top graphic and the controls, so they... Maybe my 4 doesn't work. That's a possibility. Where are those controls? It does not feel compromised, but yes, of course it is possible. We're going to verify that by plugging in this, which is the equivalent, the keyboard controller. Oh. Just different form factor. 
right now. No? I may have to load up the previous version. It may have... Uh... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Let's plug this back in. And reset the game. Okay. Try four. Nope. Five. Nope. Okay, try six, but only one more. Now try the star to pick it up. It's either the star or the seven. Oh, the seven did it. And then you're supposed to move over to the red box, because it was a red thing, <laughs> and drop it in the red box. But it does not work. So what we're going to do is regress back to an earlier version, which I have to load on the SD card. Ah. Uh, because I don't keep all the versions of all the games. I only update it once in a while <laughs> for the full amount. Okay, so we'll go there, load up the old Bert. The old Bert. Yeah, there we go. Copy, paste. Eject. Try again. He's um, doing the thing. Continue. Over there, on the computer. I am. Programming error. Could be. Try it again. Oh no! I'm gonna do it manually. Ready. So strange. Oh, it's making it go down. That's what it does sometimes. Pops it back up. That's why I always keep the joysticks plugged in until I have to switch controllers. Because it's naughty. Naughty. Very, very naughty. <sighs> Sigh. There. Sigh reset. Okay, so this is a zip file. <laughs> Hooray for zip files. Yay, blue screen. Enjoy the blue screen. There, we'll switch it's it very so blue. to look at the blue screen. It is a very, very blue screen. You can see it in the background there. Oh, yes. Uh, so, I will unzip the zip Not file. Anymore. And put it back there. Exit out. Eject. Put it back in the 2600 so it can load a bin. Oh, oh my God. God. Well, Ready. Well, well. And there's a bin file. There's some coffee in this cup. Oh my god. Oh. Is it cold? Mm-hmm. Still good? You know yep. it's cold? You can pretend you ordered it cold. It's not real coffee, it's decaf, so. Uh, an error. Okay. How does it work now? Not at all? Oh, that's nine. Oh yeah, it's it changed. Pick it up. And then seven doesn't do it. What is happening? This does work on the emulator. So is it my controller? Let's try all the other controllers. Admittedly, I didn't I haven't used the kids controller a lot. I have used that for tap them all, and all the buttons worked. The timer ran out. I couldn't figure out what box to put it in. <laughs> and there was a beep to punish me for my okay. stupidity. I'm going to try the other keyboard controller. And if this fails, we're going to do it in emulation. Nothing. Weird. It doesn't work on an actual system. Something is off. Maybe it switches? No, no, no. No, that's really, really weird. I'll have to report that bug. And we're going to play it in emulation so you can see the wonderfulness of the game. So we'll switch back to emulation. 
because there's always another way of doing it. Yes, they have Sesame Street in Canada. Oh, yeah. Yep. We do. And there's French on it. Yep. <laughs> okay, Bert. And there's different characters as well. Look, in, I know there are, but which ones are I'm, different? Lots no of them are the same. Idea. So I don't get to use the cool kids controller, eh? That's too no, bad. you have to use the buttons on the keyboard. Okay, let me try and figure them out. Numbers, number pad. Yeah, you'd think that, wouldn't you? Is the number pad, is an unlock oh, pressed? I have to switch it over. Uh, input because it doesn't know oh not that uh, is it game properties controllers keyboard. keyboard and just because unpack no it was something else it's one of these Why? Okay, let's see. Emulation. Yeah, no, bits. Ernie and Bert don't speak French, I don't think. No, no, no. No. It's just just some of the interstitial stuff. They you reuse a lot of the American. So it's A and D. A S D. And then I bet those are Z X C. And I believe on the Canadian Sesame Street, if they say Z, it's going to be Z up here. So they do have to change certain things. So this should be... Oh, oh. okay. Yeah, Q, he Q moves and both e. directions. Q and E. That is a technology we have not seen thus far. <laughs> so Bert it was the moving top row then. Not just fourth, but back. And fourth. Okay, so you pick it up. Okay, it's Q... E A D. See if it reaches that far. It's not an action game, so it should be fine. Finally, we've got it going. Colors look really weird. Oh, because it's on the other system. Um, so, here we go. Atari 2600 line posted Atari August 5th, so I got a kid's controller a couple days ago and thought someone should make a homebrew that uses this. To my knowledge, it's the first... Oh my first... god, I'm winning. Oh my god, I'm winning! Kicking ass. Uh, first truly homebrew to use the kid's controller. It stars Bert of Sesame Street fame. I've seen Elmo in that peekaboo ColecoVision game that's for sale in the Atari Age store. Nevertheless, if they tell me to stop, I'll just change the characters a bit and call oh it George... Oh my god, I'm so good at this. Call game. it George the Guy. So, to do something else with it. Why? Because I want to do a homebrew game using kids controller, even though it functions the same as a normal keyboard controller, which I should probably need help since I've never done it before. Uh, there's Bert floating, disembodied head. The title screen plays the Sesame Street theme, pressing the reset switch since there's no actual fire button. The kids controller gives you this, but you could assign the reset switch to one of the buttons on the controller so we don't have to reach over. Are you smarter than a preschooler? <laughs> Captain Classic says. Winning. What happens if you pick the wrong bin? I can't believe how much winning is happening. I don't know. You can find out when you play it because you're so <laughs> dumb you won't be able to figure it out. I know. See, that's trash talk. It is. It's Actually, common with board with uh, video games to have trash so this, talk. This game is, it wouldn't be good for all kids. You know why? Because they might be colorblind. And then they wouldn't be able to pick the red bin. Unless those colors are good for every single type of color blindness. So, um, Chris Reed should uh, look up on up all the different uh, types of color blindness so that it works with everyone. Because color blindness is quite common. Um, there's Bert's floating disembodied head. The title screen plays the Sesame Street theme. Pressing the reset switch since, yeah, I read that out. Bert can now drop items into bins. Uh, on Saturday, I added that. Press the uh, pound to do that. I changed the colors a little bit too. You'll get a point for doing that if you get in the correct bin. But besides adding sound effects, I don't know what to do. And I think it's not really a complicated game at this point. I'm getting point. tired of winning. 
I'm just I'm winning. Are you getting so tired good. of winning? <laughs> getting, I'm getting so tired of just winning all the time now. <laughs> I also moved the buttons up to the upper row since not many kids controller games use the bottom row. I don't know why that is. So now four is left, six is right, seven is pick up a box, nine is drop a box. Black and white could use some pattern of scan lines to distinguish maybe. Yes, that's true. You could do um, different types of boxes. So it's like um, a full a full box. Then you could do, do striped boxes, so every second line. And then a chunk, and then a missing a piece, and then a chunk at the bottom for that. Okay, let's, I'm going to pretend that I don't know that this should go into the brown one. <gasps> you lost a life. Oh my god. Be careful, you only have one life left. Or do you have two lives left? <laughs> Wonder what type of game this is. We'll find is, out. Oh, is, zero. And you're still playing? Still playing. They did oh, it right. Oh, you did it right. You have did zero right. in reserve. Zero lives in reserve. Zero extra lives. Oh, I won by ending it. And there's a uh, lot of a lot of debate on how um, oops, how Bert's face should look. Oh. And I even added to that uh, debate. Should he have more forehead? Um, was that what the debate was? It was, some of it was the size of the ears. Um, we, can, we can take a look at the different iterations of it. Okay, that's enough of that noise. I think you have played through the game. I have. Press escape, please. Um, so we're going to take a look through the different iterations of Bert. That, You're definitely uh, going to have to mute that part. I think so. Probably. Because we weren't singing we were, badly in it to, we were talking to, a bit. to camouflage it. Yeah, did, did I tell you about the time we got uh, flagged? Yeah. It was not a good day. <laughs> and that one is very recognizable and even more prominent than the other one. Okay, so... Let's take a look at all the iterations of Bert. I can already see the uh, objection to the first one. Can you? <laughs> Was it on the screen already? I saw it flash by. Uh, so I looked capture. over at the information part of the, the monitor. So that one. <laughs> Why is Bert smiling? His ears are too small and he is far too happy. He's usually angry at Ernie for something, right? He's annoyed. Yeah. His two expressions are annoyed and yelling. The closest he gets to smiling, I think, is his voice. Where he's like, hey! Yeah. So that was the I'm first sure iteration. Um, and then... Let's see. Down a little bit. Somebody, oh, Neo okay, he's smiling. Yeah, fair ne enough. I'm wrong. Yeah, he was right. He's yeah. smiling. That's a when he's with his pigeons, smile. and that's a pigeon about the top, by the way. That's dropping those blocks. He has a thing for pigeons. He, he's probably happy when he's feeding pigeons. So, um, Neo Tokyo 2001 tweaked it a little bit to get a wider smile. Uh, and what else did he do? Oh, what? Change the nose color. Mm -hmm. Oh, a bigger nose. Yeah. Change the nose shape, widen mouth. Um, and then he added it in. And then I said I was going to play it. And then the next page is when I make my helpful suggestions. <laughs> Poking my nose in. And so that was the original that he was working with at that time. Uh -huh. Then I straightened the bird image so you can compare it quite easily to heights. Yeah, and yeah. so I said, A, you should put you should put his brow like this yeah. because it was kind of a bird-like brow there because yeah. uh, it's more like that. Uh, mouth straighter on the top. I mean, that's only one picture. Like if you tilt his head forward, it would be more shaped as yeah. a... But but he does Since have he's a, looking straight on at the camera. He does have a Canadian-style head. <laughs> a flappy head, yeah. He does, actually. Yeah. Um, and I moved the eyes up a bit, uh, closer to the brow. That's debatable whether you need to do that. And also moved the nose up at the same time. Hmm. Uh, lowered the ears, which they definitely are lower. 
and I made them a bit smaller. They're kind of in between big and small, but I made them smaller and eh, you can take your pick. Um, and I made the chin shorter because he's got a big prominent chin, chin there. And it's not, and it depends, I guess, if his shirt is up or not. Um, and whether you consider that to be his neck or his chin. But anyway, I did all that and I gave him the one-to-one -one pixel thing and he took on some of the suggestions. Um, he took on the brow, he moved the eyes up, he lowered the ears, um, he didn't take my mouth suggestion and he said there's um, a pixel problem with doing the eyes. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't work out um, with the programming. So yep. it's kind of a mix of everything. So that's the one that's in the game right now. I guess the brow should be curved because he is smiling. I've just never seen Bert smiling. Mm -hmm. Does his brow furrow? Is there actual movement? I wonder. But anyway, he's smiling. So that's how his brow looks. And at least in this picture. And I, when I looked it up, there was a number of Bert pictures through the years because they've changed his, changed his look. So and there's also different Bert's. So that is Bert into way more detail than anybody ever needs. <laughs> and we're going to go on to the fourth game here, which is the patch challenge. And we're going to play it on the emulator for reasons I expressed earlier uh, about the rage resetting, because there will be a lot of it. <laughs> as soon as I crash, I'm resetting. There's absolutely no point. Uh, so we're going to be playing Barnstorming. There it is. Got the Stella. Let's switch it bigger. There we go. Change the graphic out. Boom. 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 We should be good. I'll get Darcy to play first. Well, I read off some info. That's reset. So it's just up and down. It's no button. You fly through. I'm gonna shoot. I'm shooting stuff. You can shoot birds. Oh, and I think the. Oh, why is there no birds? Because easy mode. Do they know I was playing? That's really weird. There's not a bird hidden behind you. Oh. What is going on? One second. No, One I'm second. winning. Don't no. Don't make it harder. <laughs> Something is very wrong. What? There should be birds. Auto detect BB color. That's right. Why is there no birds? Go up. Start your plan. With the... No. With the button. What is going on? That's really weird. Maybe this isn't the uh, oh the version you should play. Uh, let me make sure. So this is a... Or maybe you don't... There isn't any birds. What the hell? Um, this is a 4K game from 1982. Uh, let me read about the patch. I'm pretty sure you leave it on BB. Game number... Oh, it's the game number. No, game number one in 33 seconds. But they're birds. What the hell? Why is this virgin? Look, Ma, no hands. I'm winning. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. But you have to go through uh, 10 barns. Oh, you through the, the barn. Yeah, go through the barns. Sorry. There you go. Now it's counting down. Hmm. If you beat a time of 33 seconds, 33.3 seconds on game one, 51 seconds on game two, or 54 seconds on game three, you can join it. It says game one. But when I was playing it, there were birds. There were birds. Okay, we're going to look at the cartridge. Like, because something is very strange here. Button goes faster, makes birds. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so start again. Press the button, hold it down. Oh, that's why. Because you're not going to make that time. Okay. Never mind. We're, we're working. We're doing it well. I supposed to. Solved it. Solved it. 
Good. Thank you very, very much. Okay. Back to the game. So the last time I played this was... Last time I played this, I was 0.49 seconds off of getting the patch. Um, I played it on October 11th, 2019. So about a year ago, a year ago. Um, and there was a, uh, I might show you the barn crash trick later on. Yay, 51 seconds. <laughs> Done. <laughs> so you have to get this in 33.3 seconds. Now I'm going to get you to help me with the windmill pattern. Darcy. Uh, what? <laughs> what? This game is made by Steve Cartwright, who did Barnstorming, Frostbite, Mega Mania, Plaque Attack, and Sequest. Uh, Frostbite and Mega Mania are amazing games. There's the windmill pattern. Okay. It's... one 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 two three one two zero one three. Got it. So that's how many windmills are in between each of the... Okay, so two. So so I have to go above the birds. So how and many now? Three now. One, two, three. I'm going to have to get the barn. This is just practice. Just I... one now. Just one, okay. Yeah. And then two. Then? Zero. And then one. And then three. One. Two, three. Oh, I have to go high up that one. Okay. So that's what we have to do. Rage reset time. Yes, it is, Thomas. It is time for rage reset. Let's move all this stuff out of the way so I won't get annoyed at it. Move everything out of the way. A blue-footed booby. It is. Is that one of the new... Uh, the I don't new know if it's a booby, but unlocked? it's blue-footed. <laughs> rage reset. Okay. You're gonna have to say them out quicker than I'm you gonna did. say it. Okay. One. One. Faster. That's the one. And I have to say it before I get there. Okay. One. Two. Three. That's a good amount of time, yeah. Okay. One. 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 Two, three, three. Okay. Is it three already? Three, two, three. And then one. Oh, that was three. Oh, God, I missed it completely. Okay. Rage reset quicker. Okay, one. One. Okay, it's one. And then one again. One. And then one again, right? Yeah. And then three. No, two. Two. Okay. Two. Yeah. Two. And then three. Ah, oh, got to fly in between those. Because if you mess up the birds, there's no point in practicing because now they're all out of order. Because they yeah. are very, they're exactly the same each time. Oh. So it's it's one one two, right? It's one 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 two. One 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 two. Okay. Including the first one, apparently. Two and then three. Oh, I gotta fly. I gotta fly like up like that in between those. Except do it right. <laughs> one, one, one. And this is that's three now. the hard one. That's the hard one. Yeah, I gotta get up on those birds. I don't think there's another path. This is two, right? Yeah. And then now we have three. Damn it! This is why I leave this uh, these games to last. <laughs> so people can leave if they want. <laughs> it's so frustrating to watch, I'm sure. Oh! Not 
three. It's so hard. Is there another path? Because you can't slow down. If you if I take my finger off the button, um, you can't make the the score. Or maybe I did slow down just a touch, but that still wouldn't separate the birds. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, the birds just totally change if you yeah. bump into one. So you can't practice where the birds will be until you get there naturally. Yeah. Oops. Messed up. Messed up the order. I was not paying attention. One. One. Two, These would have to be some pretty big three. barns. <laughs> yeah. Very spacious. Very wide. Damn it. I just need to practice that move. I wonder if yep. I can just practice it somewhere. There's there's not going to be any birds that are going to be like exactly that. Right up through those ones. Yeah, that would have been a good one. Yep. There's nowhere to... Uh, let's see. The birds have a like a repeating pattern. Maybe I should just. I'm gonna practice diving in and out of birds here. Uh, oh, there's one coming up. So there's several barns in a row once you get that far. Oh yeah. yeah. A great yeah. many gotta, barns in a row. Just have to practice on the one. <laughs> the one that's there. Because it take less time than trying to wait for one. Maybe I can go around it. Let me try that. Hi. Here to bug Hi, me. monster. Damn it. There's a barn there. This is a rage game for me. Who said that? Tifos? Tifos? Tifos, yeah. Hi! It's pretty ragey. What are you doing? Oh, uh, maybe I can are make it. I don't know if I can. His tail is tickling my hand. Good luck! <laughs> good luck here, have some butt for good luck. Butt for good luck. No, I don't think I can make it past that. I do have to thread the needle. Ugh. So early in the game to do that kind of move. But I guess yeah. it's good snarf, to do snarf, it. Snarf. Oops. Snarf, snarf, snarf. That's what we do. We snarf. So close. <laughs> you have to be on the ball. Be ready. If I do make it, to count out how many are next. Darcy. Oops. Uh oh. Did it go to sleep? Yep. Okay. Hi, kittens. Hi. Hi. Oh, you're so happy. So happy. Oops. Oh, that's the exit button, apparently. <laughs> it's easy to get back in. Whatever button I pressed. So there was a... Oh, I almost got it. There was a world record for the longest time in this game, held by a prominent world record holder. Mm. And people were like, how did he get that record? It's really, really, really fast. <laughs> and then they hacked the game to turn off all the birds. And flew straight. And flew straight. Mm -hmm. couldn't and get couldn't it. get that speed. 
And so they're like, what? And then, so they didn't believe the person, right? Mm -hmm. Like, why, why would you? Yeah. If you can't even do it without birds. Yeah. I know what I have to do now. I have to move up, wait a minute, then go up again because there's enough room past that first bird. Um, so what they figured out is that there is a hack that you can do with the game where you bump into a barn. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it stupidly. Where you, yeah, I'm doing it way... I'm, where you bump I mean, into a barn. Where you bump into a barn, it counts as going through the barn. And then you can bump into it again. And it counts as going through the barn. Oh. And so you can finish off the game early. And not like have to go... Like a split second early? Uh, f uh, about a, a second or so early. Oh my god. Um... So they don't really regard that as a record anymore, I don't think. Because you're exploiting something in the game that's not supposed to work. Damn it. So even though the game allows you to do it, you're not technically going through the barn. Which is your, what you're supposed to do. But the game allows it. So it's kind of like, hmm? See, that's what you're supposed to do. See, now I need to... What am I? How many? How many? Uh, oh, don't act like uh, it's going to matter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I know how to do so, it, so you have to keep track. So, uh, after, the, after that three, which was the one you were working on, it's a one. Okay. Oh. So the question is, well, I mean, it's already been settled in the score kind of record people. They don't count it. They don't count it because it's not the way you play the game. Even though the game allows it. It's definitely more elegant um, to just uh, like let the top score be what you can get by playing the game and not have rules around what mm. things you're allowed to do in it. But this is not exactly a massive um, <laughs> uh, bit of red tape. Yeah. It's and the way that you show it, the way the way the game works, like if you're proving how you did it, you have to in today's day and age you have to have like video of it and stuff. That that was the thing. Back in the day you just took a picture of your final score. Mm -hmm. So nobody knew how you did it. Yeah. Um, but now you have to submit how you did it. Oh my god. Um and in uh speedruns, they do have d different categories. Yep. Where it's like, oh yeah, you can use crazy hacks and go through walls and stuff. And then there's well, I mean, the other scores. Disallowing hacks is perfectly fine. Um, what I'm saying is that it's not a hack. It's like an exploit. Yeah. Like, there's a certain... There's a certain elegance to just being like, oh, if you can do it, you're allowed. It's a yeah. video game. It's supposed to <laughs> regulate you automatically. And if the game fails to do so, then it's... It's, it's arguable that it's because, you know, that makes it legit. It's still hard, though. Yeah. Yeah. So they've separated But out. whatever it is, they made a rule, and it's not an unreasonable one. It's, yeah. And, it's, and because you require video, um, yeah. it's easy. It's, it's not at all difficult to find out whether or not they, they do it that way. A trainer version with a defender-like radar might help me remember the pattern. Yeah, like a little piece of paper <laughs> up there. Actually, that would that would help a lot. No, I've, I I've got a Darcy. Fiddled oh. the screen, and then it was not listening to me. I don't like it when the machines decide before before the screen dims. They've decided they're turning off, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. there's that moment where it's like the screen hasn't shut down yet. But it's too late for you to <laughs> impact whether it does or doesn't. <laughs> yes. Not fair. That's what I say. See? Oh See my god! I mean? See what I mean? That is rage inducing? <laughs> it was you need to like learn how to do that well, thing. Somebody before. likes my raging. <laughs> Cowbird. Cowbird boy. Cowbird boy. Thanks go. for following. Thanks for following. 
Um, oh my god. You need to practice that before knowing what the next one is <laughs> matters. I was getting it for a while. No, you weren't. I got it once. Yeah. <laughs> once is not for a while. For a whole second, I got it. For a whole single instance. Now I'm totally messing up. When I was playing it before, it still was not easy. Um, when I was getting my numbers. There. I have no idea. Okay, barn. One. After two. Just one? Okay. And then two. Oh, I need to go to the top. Okay. But see, that's just it. There's no need f for finding out, like, super far ahead. Uh. Because, like, you're just going to run into more birds. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no, I'm just being but practical. I but I, I do need to know the pattern so I can just go, oh, yeah, I'm going to. It's just not possible for me to pay that close attention to the fact that you made it this <laughs> one time in 100,000 times. So the barn thing is like, let me just try and do it. It's really hard. It's like. It's a specific, oh, a specific barn though it must be because it didn't. No, you can do it on the first one, but you have to like kind of crash and get pushed back. Yeah, it's really hard to do. I'm not going to bother. But if you're able to do it, you save, you can get, like the guy who figured out how to do it, beat the world record instantly. Yeah. The old world record, which was impossible to get, beat it. Ah, oh, too early. One, <laughs> two, or one, two. One. That's the third one. Now I go now up. Two. And now there's. Now I crash. Now there's potential three. Potential Donkey Kong high score coming up. <laughs> ah! Who's been watching the new video game uh, documentary? They're saying, oh, I was wondering if you were uh, watching that. Um, they're saying that you can still get the score if you hit a bird. Okay, how many? It's two? No, I missed it. God damn it. You can get the score? Oh. But I need help. your argument I still. What? You I... made it one time. Yeah. I and just then... made it again. Yeah, but the next one is one. After three is one. That's all you need to remember. <laughs> you only need to remember one more thing each time okay. you come into a puzzle. Okay. I'll tell you I made it, and you've got to start paying attention. <laughs> sure. I'm going to tell you. So that... Yeah, just remember it's one after that three. <laughs> like you're on three when you're dying all the time. And once you get past that, the next one is one. One, two. It's two? I uh, don't think it is. It's, it's two. It's, it's one, 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 two, three, one, two. Oh my God. And then zero. That's too many to remember. I know, but it's not. I, I, I mean, it's not actually too many to remember. It's just too many to remember when you've just started. And while you're playing, I just can't. While you're playing, you will remember it. You will muscle memory remember it. Eventually. When, yeah. Just like you have all these early ones. Not really. <laughs> Keep crashing. One, two, then what? Then one. One. Okay. And then two. One, two. And then zero. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> then one and then three. Two, three. Okay, I can do that. Okay, so I have to shave two seconds off because I crashed twice. So, okay. Let's do it for reals. right and then it was zero okay and then one yeah oh and then three <laughs> i missed the one jesus okay okay 
now I have a chance to actually do it now that I'm getting more consistent with that first stupid obstacle that was getting in my way. Almost. I'm pretty sure I can do it without slowing down. Okay, I need help right now. And zero. Nope. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's one. Now it's the three. So next is after this. Is oh, the what the hell? A bad bird got my way. It was like just one bird. It wasn't even hard. Now it's a one. Okay. Now it's a two. And a zero. Okay. And a one. Okay. And a three. Ah, if I got that, there's another one of those. Yeah. Yeah. So I just have to do that one. And I will be successful. Uh, I can put on the sash. Have you seen the sash? <laughs> that Tanya made? I saw, I saw the, I was watching when you put it on. It was like... It far exceeded <laughs> expectations. Right. It was so much better than I expected. <laughs> now I'd be able to see it in person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm getting too excited. Yeah, it is pretty mighty sash. People are saying I should wear it to the PR PRG. <laughs> I'm like, nah. Yeah, it's pretty so awesome. Sure about that. I think you should. <laughs> Now one, two, and then zero, and then one. Oh, I went up too quick at the end of the barn. Stupidity. What the hell? I'm like looking ahead and not looking at like the birds that are right in front of me. Because you, like your plane is the exact width of, of the birds or the height of the birds. So if you're like one little pixel off, you're hitting the bird. One and two. Oh. And they get mad whenever you quit after hitting one bird. Just so <laughs> you know. Oh, well. At this point, once you get past that tri uh, sticking point, you shouldn't quit if you hit a bird. If you hit a no. uh, th other thing, sure, but not a bird. Because I know I can do it without hitting a bird. That's the thing. I know they're getting mad. So oh, I didn't know they were getting mad, but <laughs> I can see. They're all against you. <laughs> Are they? <laughs> No. <laughs> They're all like it. Every single one of them. Are there any in my favor? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding okay. with that. Okay. And this then one. one. And then two. And then zero. And then one. And then three. Oh. Keep going. Oh, oh. but I missed it and there's yeah. probably not a barn. Anyway, I didn't get it because I missed the actual barn that I would have had to get to get the patch on that. So there you go. I didn't stop. <laughs> That's how you should. When you're that close, you should you should go. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. 
It's just I don't want to go because it messes up the pattern. It's not the right bird sure, pattern. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'd... just telling you. I just don't want you to get killed, virtually <laughs> murdered <laughs> by pitch, pitchforks and whatnot. Yep. Somebody pe selling pitchforks in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> get your pitchforks. He's running into birds and nobody likes that. And um, just like skiing, this awards you for less movement. So one, and two, and zero, and one, and three. One, two, three down. No, I got to go before that bird. I'm just saying that you, yeah. you were at the last one and you didn't go down and no, we lost. <laughs> <laughs> we lost the plane. We lost the farm. We'll never become the stunt pilot that your dad was. <laughs> <laughs> I can picture that, Tifos. Tifos. <laughs> oh, you're keeping things from me. What can you picture? Uh, the yellow baron uh, waving, waving down and shaking his fist <laughs> at the birds. Really good. Like, look at the um, graphics of the guy in the plane. He's got a. It's like a ninja. But he's got a um, scarf. Yeah. And it's waving in the wind. It is. So good. Oh, Snoopy. Yeah. Snoopy could be shaking his fist. That's true. Oh my god, I'm not counting. That's why I'm cutting them so close because you get better time when you just get above the wind. Yep. Oh, count. Huh? No, not you, not you, me. <laughs> At the beginning, one, two, this third one. Oh, one. Two. <laughs> Clank. Three. Uh, <laughs> and there's a little weather vane on top of the barn. It's such a, this game has such good graphics, but what can you expect from uh, Activision? Oh. I am. Yeah, like, it does have that Activision look to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This has got the sunset. Yeah. Just having the excuse to have that rainbow of colors <laughs> really improves. Just like the visual, oh, the visual huge. of it is just really good. Ah! <laughs> it's been a while since you made it to the tricky part. It's because I'm uh, trying to optimize. Trying to optimize, which is not maybe what I should be doing right now. <laughs> I should be doing normal things. <laughs> And giving myself a little bit more leeway rather than hitting everything and not counting. <laughs> One, <laughs> two, three. I hit that bird so many times. Bit of my wheel on that. So one, two, or no, now it's two. Uh, or maybe I'm lost, I don't know. Did I you get to the tricky second. point? Oh yeah. yeah. One, two, three. And this is the two. And this is the three. And 
one after this, and then two, and then zero, mm -hmm. and then one, mm -hmm. and three. It's your best time uh, today. Because <laughs> I kept going. <laughs> it is 34. Not what you need. You need 33.3. If you don't crash into a bird, you can easily make that. Or wither veins. Oops. Excessive movement. One, now two, now zero, now one, and now three. And then I gotta go down before that last bird. So close, folks, so close. far. down that's hard that's hard 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 so they ended on a hard note i gotta thread it twice i think at the end Thrust. <laughs> he said he's convinced you can do it. Uh yeah. So I'm convinced I am here. too. Thank you for the vote of confidence, Thomas. <laughs> but it is he's in Europe, so the Captain Classic is just adding more to your list of of things you need to do, so you can read that later. Like patches I need to get or what? <laughs> things I need to he's do. He's saying once you get all the Activision patches, then you oh. what you have to do next. Well there's a magic patches which are so hard. Like, I tried to get one, and I was like, not even close. Like, not even in the realm. One. Two. Zero. Damn it. That's pointless. Pointless. Wrecking my bird practice. <laughs> <laughs> I've also got homebrew patches on the list too. Uh, I've got some of those, about half of them. Some of them are really hard. Ah. Oh. Come 
one and two. Bloody birds. The crashing is a really good animation because it depends on how bad you crash. It shows different, different bounces. Hmm. I think your airplane should blow up more when you run into things. <laughs> Depending on what it is. should be larger, yeah. If it's a bird or if it's the uh, barn. Okay. And two. No, that's not the number of birds to hit. <laughs> <laughs> I got two. <laughs> Too close to the to the limit there. Just try to shave time off. I mean, I get the uh, reason to practice, like practicing like that, just makes you better in general. But given that you said you don't need that to succeed, it doesn't <laughs> seem like it's no, it's necessary. kind of a waste. So who has their barnstorming patch out there in? Uh, chat land I don't know we'll see okay need help okay so one and two uh, it's one two zero right one two zero one two zero one one two zero one yeah one three, two zero one there? three one two zero one three oh, I don't know if I can remember that. yeah but it's you can three. remember one two zero and then the next you can remember one two zero one <laughs> and then I can say three and eventually you can remember that too that's why I didn't I add the three. In. I'm confused already. One, two, zero. You know that. One, two, zero, zero. one. Fuck. And then Bird! Zero. Yep. And then one. And then three. I've got to go straight up after that. Damn it. Because there's no room to not go straight up. chat go boo stop boo. crashing into the first thing that comes on the screen yeah <laughs> no not right now so one two ah uh, hi hi yeah, here to cheer me on rare a rare Fairweather fan. It is almost one hour. It is less than one hour from when I get food. Oh my god. I just thought it I is? would tell you. Is it three o'clock? Three ten? Oh my god. That's terrible. That's a long time to play the games. <laughs> but we're so close. Are we? Are we really? 
pretty close. Yeah. I mean, if you'd stop running into barns at the beginning. <laughs> that increases my chances? Yeah. He does send out a warning an hour beforehand. <laughs> this is his one hour warning. Oh, Pixel should have warned me about that barn. <laughs> that it was coming. Oh, there's a headbutt. Okay. Yeah. Good cat. Yeah. You're rubbing my joystick hand. Yeah. <laughs> For good luck. Didn't work. <laughs> Just distracted. Aww. <laughs> Two. Boo. Oh, it's a little flower. It's so far away. Cat! Oh, they perked up when the cat came. Meow. 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 Ah. <laughs> Boo. Messing up. One barn. barn two barns three barns and crash hi hey super One cat barn. how's the super cat oh you're gonna bite two me barn. it's not a bite three if barn. there's no blood right mm, that's debatable And crash! Bah! One, two, zero? Is it? So one, two, one, two zero. zero. Okay. Now I've got both cats down here. Wonderful. <laughs> oh! 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 Oh, you're pissing oh. off the cat. <laughs> one. Two. Zero. Zero, one. Just one? Oh, God damn it. oh I just skipped that. Ah! <laughs> so when I give it too wide a latitude, I hit the birds. That's a problem. Oh, they're fighting. Pre-dinner fighting. That's part of their ritual. <laughs> they never seem to do it on camera. Cameras can move. They can. One. Two. Zero. Okay. One. And three. No, you go, just down, go right, down right after that. You right after down. threading it. Right after threading down. it, you gotta go down. Yeah. Okay. So close, people. Yeah. So close. What did it say? Is that barnstorming label an official one? Uh, when did they go away from the nice line drawing with rainbow movement after effect? Oh, I see. After Activision with Rainbow. Oh, yeah. I think I don't know why that's not there. Yeah, this is an '83 game, so it's a pretty later game. I don't know why they changed. It might be dependent on the game and what they need to display at the bottom too. Okay. Two. And zero. Now a one. And a three. 
and you go down after you thread. Yeah. There you go, 3302. Good job. Yes! <laughs> oh. <laughs> 3302. Oh my goodness. I did it. It is time to don the sash of accomplishment. <laughs> <laughs> the patch sash is coming out. <laughs> I don't have the barnstorming patch, so you just have to imagine. Imagine I have the barnstorming patch. <laughs> Da, 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 da. That's pretty great. Uh, uh, there it is. Let's get it all straight. Get that stampede patch in there. Spider fighters. The uh, golden spanner for Packrat for the um, and the knockout kings. There we go. These all I I've earned all of these, <laughs> plus more that I don't have because they're too expensive. But now I gladly accept the barnstorming patch on behalf of all gamers everywhere <laughs> who have not been able to accomplish this yet because it is tricky. Thanks, James, for the incredible experience. You're very welcome. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> That's the right attitude. That's the correct attitude. Finally. <laughs> With that score, you had room to spare to hit a bird. Yeah, you did. No, you a did. third of a second. It slows you down quite a bit. <sighs> So happy to finally get that patch done. That one is, that one's a tricky one. That's for sure. Let's get Twitch chat up again. Whoa, so today we played, here's your trophy. Oh, thank you, Ice Posta. Today we played Deep Space. The name's covered up. Deep Space, Dark Star 3, the third in a sequel of two others that don't exist yet. Right. <laughs> and he's planning to make a fourth one too. <laughs> so a third in a quadrilogy. The first one out. Good show. Congrats on your page patch. Yes. Thank you, Dan. Uh, Deep Space, incredible game. Awesome, awesome game. Three distinct levels. Amazing map screen. Um, don't know what that blinky thing is. You might have to not die to get there. Like not get injured but we're not that good to play on the third level to not to get injured. Um, so keep on the watch out for that. We'll probably play it again because we didn't make it quite to the end. We made it pretty far. Um, so we're definitely playing that as the, the work in progress. Oh, did I get progresses. my patch for Bert? <laughs> <laughs> well, you probably had to get 50 points for Bert to get a patch. <laughs> I think I did have 50 points. Did you? I don't know. I don't know. I think you lose points when you put things in the wrong bucket. You lose a life. I don't you know. I thought that I, two of them. I was definitely over 40. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll have to up it more then. I have to make it hard. I'll make it challenging. Yeah, that's not, a, that's not possible. Colors. That's not possible. You oh. have to, but you have to put a time. Timer a would time be better. time factor. And it gets less and less time each time like you have to precisely move them in that would make it better but it's a kid's game so you have to start off with lots of latitude lots and lots um yeah bert was um as a kid's game for matching colors it's accomplished what it set out to do um i think there's a problem with the yeah. actual kids controller no but i don't game. know um it doesn't seem to work on my system it didn't work with any other ones it the, you could move to the right, but not to the left. Yeah, yeah. and I have played um, the Gopher game, and it worked. All the buttons work, because it uses two of them. One in each, and it uses every single button. Oh. There's 20. Is that what you guys were playing the other night? Yeah. That... Oh, I was wondering how... I was wondering how Daniel was like moving to the... the moving to them so quick. I missed, I missed yeah. the part where... It uses That's awesome. both of them all 24 buttons it's a game that has 24 buttons that's pretty great and it's really really good yeah that's cool and we were using all the buttons so i know all the buttons work on this um but i'll be retesting later to i'm going to test the gopher game with this and make sure this works and make sure all those work and then test again bert and see if it's uh 
just doesn't work on maybe my system or just doesn't work on real systems. Then we played Barnstorming. Great game. I mean, it's uh, frustrating as hell to get the patch, but it's a really fun game. Um, patches, I'd say on the harder end, but not like really, really hard. It's definitely far from the easy end. Oh. Gonna get all moody? Or is that not up enough? Are we getting moody? <laughs> oh, I see. One more, one more, one more. Turn that one off. Yeah, that's where I'm headed. Okay. <laughs> there, oh yeah. That's kind of <laughs> cool. And I'm, I'm kind of silhouetted with, uh, you can see my glasses reflect. That's really cool. You can see the full power. Wait, 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 not yet, not oh. yet. There's different modes. Ah. It's different options. Look at that. Ah, yes. The fast blinking option and solid as well. So there's solid, there's slow, slow blinking. And then when you get a really hard game, you win a really, really hard game, you could do the flat, fast blinking one. And you can see how many patches you have by how they're covered up. There you go. I'll leave it on the fast one. Boom. So all credit goes to Tanya for this. Um, I don't know if she came up with the sash thing or somebody suggested it. Um, yes, the next show is a very interesting one. We're going to be playing, thank you for the reminder, Captain Classic. We're going to be playing all of the Omega Matrix menu screen update games. So what he did is took old games, like some of the early, early games, of um, Atari and added a menu system at the front because some of them had a hundred different options and you would scroll through them with the game select and then reset to play the game and they would be laid out in a grid like manner it's like two players are there and this one for invisible enemies for one player invisible enemies for two player and that would be variation number 43 You'd have to look it up on the chart. Hmm. And this one, he has made a menu system for this. It's like invisible enemies, yes, no. Um, extra lives, yes, no. Hmm. Um, two player, yes, no. And so it makes it really, really easy. So it's, and he, and he puts uh, nice graphics as well. So it's, it's quite cool. So we're going to be playing through that on Tuesday, all the different menu games. And he may have a new one. For us to debut on Tuesday's show. And he's recently updated Hangman. Um, so if you have downloaded Hangman and it's freezing on some of the levels, um, he just updated that today, so you can go download that. Um, beyond that, so the games are going to be Asteroids, Championship Soccer, Combat, Hangman, Indy 500, Space Invaders, Super Breakout, Video Olympics, and Warlords. We're going to be playing some of the more interesting variations along with showing off the menu system. Uh, Maze Craze. Yes, yeah, somebody suggested Maze Craze to him, um, and which has a ton of options. So hopefully he'll be doing that one. Uh, and then after that, don't know, but at some point we'll be doing the developer spotlight on John Shampoo when his new game Zookeeper and Avalanche come out in box form from Atari Age. And coming up soon, we're going to be doing renovations in the house that'll take out the show for two to three weeks. Mm. So there'll be no show for about two or three weeks. Watch repeats? I don't know. Or we might I might do special streams of, like, I you don't know. You can come to my house and stream from there. On the big uh, screen. I could. I have a lot of stuff to bring. No one to do anything <laughs> fun. Never uh, has time to do anything fun. I know. So busy with my work um it's and, true. um roadshow yeah roadshow maybe we totally maybe. do a roadshow because everything will be kind of packed up already because i have to take it so i'd have to take my frame meister you could just you could just slum it and use uh, i could yeah retron on 77. the road yeah totally then i wouldn't need the frame meister because it is yeah. hdmi yeah. um i would need one encoder, two encoders, camera. Um, you've got a laptop. I have a laptop. To, and I, to log in. I also, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I would have to have an encoder. 
to stream. I have one of those like things, anyways. Not at not my those, place. like a computer. Your how's your computer? Is it pretty pretty beefy? Pretty speedy? My it's okay. My home computer? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's not a problem. Go to the arcades. That's PRGE. That's that's when we go on the road. That's the <laughs> real road show. <laughs> Darcy's place would be like remote, remote uh, zero page homebrew, <laughs> yeah. remote installation. <laughs> um, so maybe. We'll see um, with the equipment and stuff and timing. And I mean, you're, I can come over anytime pretty much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Barring weird things. Nobody goes on vacation now. So yeah, you're, you're, you're <laughs> pretty, pretty clear. Safe. You're pretty safe. We're yeah. not going on vacation. They're not going on vacation. Nobody's no. on vacation. No. Canceled. And what, when is that? Don't know yet. Oh, That's okay. the problem. It's yeah. about the timing of the construction people. Yeah. Yeah. We're hoping um, sometime in September to get that done because the games will come out in September and then they'll be shipped and it should be over by then, so early as possible. Slot cars, maze. Oh, people are guessing already. So he's going to try and get that done. Um, so thank you very much for everyone for tuning in and cheering me on for my patch that I've achieved now. I can add it to the list. And the easy ones are getting shorter and shorter <laughs> that I can throw in and get done. There's only like really hard ones getting left because i did oink the other day and that was an easy one i did it in my first try <laughs> second try i think it was second try yeah but i knew that would be easy thanks captain classic on the fur dan avc i supposed to dios kilos 80 uh daniel medina 2600 smitty b 7800 uh did i say it wrong i was dios kilos 80 is it two kilos oh maybe Two know. kilos eighty. Not Maybe. Sure. Uh, Miss Sinclair. Uh, Tifos. Uh, Thrust twenty six. Who was convinced I could do it, and I could. And when after he wakes up, he's gonna check. He said, "Yes, I knew we could do it." <laughs> um, who else? Metal Atari nineteen sixty nine. Uh, Cafe Man two D. Carl G. Spinley 1970, Miss Command, uh, Dr. Moo Cows, who else? Coconut 81, anybody else I missed? Al Nefer, Drexel, I put in Rage Reset. Uh, oh, that's a new name. Nathan, Natana, Natan E Level, Natan E, Natana E Level, Elev? Natana Love. Antana Lev? No. Uh, no, one of those level. might be close. <laughs> and we're at the top there. So thanks so much for tuning in, everyone. It was a, a fun show today. Good good games. Um, so make sure you tune in on Tuesday for the Omega Matrix menu screen special show with Tanya. And uh, we'll see you then. Thanks a lot. Bye, everyone. Later.